Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do the They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series. Uh, this is going to be a general message. Um, so we're going to just take a peeky peek, see what's hidden, what's lurking behind the scenes, see if you are potentially behind enemy lines, if you got some frenemies, some enemies, some snakes slithering around you, we're going to be able to check in on all of that. We're also going to see the reasons as to why you may have some folks that could be potentially uh, super perturbed and concerned with you. Um, this is going to be a general reading, as I always do. So my spiel um, is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Uh, know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Um, if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. Love is love is love. If you are new here, I thank you all for tuning and tapping in. I will that there is a message which resonates for you, and I hope you stay a while. Um, my readings are also timeless, so whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, that was the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Um, I too am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively and I am also clairaudient. Um, so you will hear music playing in the background and those messages will uh, correlate with what comes out through the tarot cards as well as what I may be channeling intuitively. I am also an empath so I could pick up on the energy, the emotions of whether your energy is coming through or that of someone you could be dealing with. The song that's playing what was playing it literally just ended was um spandu ballot and it was called true so i feel someone could potentially be hating you because you're true to yourself you're being true to yourself i feel like you're keeping it funky with you maybe in the past um you used to do a lot of sacrificing and i don't feel you're doing that uh, too much these days. I feel like you're being true to you first and foremost. I also feel like someone realizes the truth, like you realize the truth about someone or some sort of truth was revealed, something someone was keeping secret or something that was hidden. I feel like the truth prevailed at the end of the day and the truth ultimately freed someone. Um, so just like the saying goes, the truth frees you. Someone could also feel like you're um, true, you're genuine, um, you're real. Um, maybe someone was sleeping on you. Maybe someone didn't see your potential or didn't see your worth and value. And now they see that you're the real deal. Um, so you are a hundred percent true, real. Um, but I do feel like with true, maybe some of you all have a true love that could potentially be coming in. Excuse me, Mama Sita, my little kitten's just wanting to come in and, uh, investigate. <laughs> You want to say hi to the people? They always hear about you. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Look. Look in the camera. You can't lay there. She's going to try to lay there. Look at her. She's going to try to lay. Look. Look what's, what's up there. See that? You're not going to show the people your pretty face? All right. But so there is someone that feels that you're true. Um... And maybe a truth, like I said, came out. Someone could be coming in that could be a true love or someone that could um, really like match your fly, your energy, your vibration. Maybe you're meeting your true uh, soul, tr your soul, your true uh, soulmate or twin flame or your true love. We have Whitney Houston singing, you give good love. So there is a possibility that someone is waking up to the fact that you were the truth. So they've missed an opportunity with you. Uh, their lack of truth, their lack of being genuine or authentic um, has cost them you. So maybe this is something someone is like reflecting back on how good the love was with you, which means that you were a real one. Um, but we're going to delve a little deeper. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively. Um, so... Yes, go ahead. let's go ahead and get some house cleaning done, and then we'll jump into the reading. Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended master, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, 
Mother Gaia, Universe, Source, the Divine, Most High God, our Creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mo it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So before I get started, my mouth is already getting dry. So I definitely feel like somebody has been keeping their truth. They've been holding on to their truth. That you give good love. You've given the best love. Because we still got Whitney Houston singing her behind off in the background. Rising power queen. So someone realizes that you were the truth. That's what I'm picking up. Let me get me some water and I'll be right back. Pardon me. Thank you so much for your patience. Okay, so just so you know, I am in my son's room. I'm actually feng shui in it. He has a new bed. It's going to be um, delivered tomorrow. So I'm doing a little, you know, feng shui in here. And so I'm literally seated on the floor. Um, I come in here because I love the, the way the sun um, hits this room. This is a really masculine energy type of room. So the sun really um, comes in and through this room really good so I like to either be in here or I like to be um, in my living room area um, you know so that's why I'm seated on the floor is because he has a new bed that's being delivered so pardon all of the background okay so let's delve into this reading right now we have uh, Belle Biv DeVoe singing I do love you um, and we have new beginning on the bottom of the numerology deck so someone is coming to, as I was saying, some sort of revelation. They've having some moment of clarity, realizing like you were the truth, um, that you gave good love, that you, there's no one that can top what it is that you were doing. Maybe someone may have walked away in the past. Maybe someone, um, you know, because who's preying on your downfall and the reason why is because maybe there's a little jealousy, a little envy, because maybe you've moved on after someone has kind of, um, made a wrong decision, chose a wrong option. They're kind of looking back and realizing like, dang, you gave good love. So whoever their current partner is, isn't giving them the love the way that you was giving them love. They're also realizing that you were the truth. So maybe they're dealing with someone or someone is dealing with an element of dishonesty or someone could be um, just a gaslighter, a manipulator, a user. And meanwhile, they're looking at you, reflecting back, and you were the truth. Um, now, someone is also realizing that they need you. We got Belle Biv DeVoe singing, I do need you. So someone is really feeling a little perturbed that they need you you were kind of like a source um you know whether that was a life source or whether you just energetically you know as that empath you you gave good love that is an understatement um you know empaths are usually uh very loving very giving um very emotionally intelligent beings very attentive and affectionate considerate very sensitive compassionate type of energy you don't judge um you're just there to love you're just there to support and maybe someone is realizing that, that that's what they're lacking perhaps in their current connection. Um, so they could be potentially preying on your downfall because maybe you've created boundaries. You're no longer open to this person. Um, there's no communication. My mouth was getting very dry as I started to, the reading. So there is a potential, a potential that you could have blocked this person or ghosted this person once they made um, another option. Or maybe I heard the word uh, discarded in, in my mind's eye. So for some of you all, this could be a narcissist that we're speaking of. Um, um, because a, a narcissist discards. Um, there's three steps that a narcissist will take. And one is heavy love bombing in the beginning of the relationship. The second is devaluing you, making you feel less than, not seeing your worth and value, um, not giving you the respect, the love that you deserve. They're just constantly trying to beat you down emotionally with their words, uh, you know, verbally beating you down, trying to make you feel less than or or like you're underneath them or you're under um, others. Uh, so that's that's a very um, 
cruel way in which they like to um, control the situation. And then there's the discard. So once they've complete in, you know, completely broke you, then they'll just abandon you, just leave you, just you know, discard you like you were a piece of trash and will never um, give you the closure or give you the respect to um, end things in a very amicable way. They will just discard you and treat you like trash, which is why most um, you know, most people who deal with narcissists end up very depressed, you know, and having to go through a lot of healing, undoing all of the, you know, entangled um, situations, you know, that that gaslighter, that master manipulator uh, was tangling during the relationship, then you're left after they discard you detangling everything um you know in your life whether that is financially they could have just like completely suck you dry of everything you have all of your resources went through your savings went through you know your children's education um savings whatever it is like they will go through every nook and cranny um and and will just suck you dry um, and, and, and this is monetarily, this is emotionally, and then they'll just discard you. So some of you all are dealing with narcissists because I was hearing discard. Um, you know, so if someone's discarded you, like you were a piece of trash, then this is a definite, um, sign that you could have been dealing with someone who was a narcissist. And for many of you all, you've escaped that narcissist, which is why they're now preying on your downfall because they're still watching you. They're still kind of like hovering you. They may have some flying monkeys kind of spying on you um they could even be going as far as like you know stalking you online and you may not even know just as all unbeknownst to you but this could be the reason why there is that element of someone um hoping things don't work out because maybe they see that you're you're doing just fine without them with this new beginning on the bottom of the deck you absolutely um had some sort of defining moment a defining moment which caused uh, a major breakthrough in your life um whenever you deal with a narcissist or whenever you deal with people who teach you valuable lessons when you learn those karmic lessons that literally breaks you free from whatever it is that was blocking you hindering you whatever was delaying you from l elevating to that next level so there is a potential many of you all were dealing with someone that was like kind of like an anchor in your life um and not kind of like i heard not kind of like they was i heard not kind of they were so this person was an anchor it's like you could have been trying for new things like maybe you were trying to apply for a new role in your position and it was never coming through as long as that person was in your life the moment that person was you know you left and the moment that that um person was no longer there you started to see things start turning for you you may have started to um you know get a lot of job offers um you may have started to have things moving in your favor like whatever was delayed was starting to move there was a turning point where things started to come in and that's what i feel this person is starting to observe that you have some sort of new beginning and this new beginning isn't coming just because of the ending this new beginning is coming because of the work that you put in to force that ending so it's not just the person discarded you and you just sat there and and you were self-loathing and and whining and you know whimpering you 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 went to work this is the first chakra um and that rules scorpionic energy so i really feel there was deep healing healing your inner child healing past wounds pains traumas your inner child um you know there could have been abandonment issues there could have been familial issues mommy daddy issues there could have been all kinds of issues even past life generational curses that you could have been kind of um unweaving um you know and detangling ultimately but i feel like that was the first step was you got to the root cause of the issue and the root cause is always going to provide that fruit of knowledge which gives you the insight as to why you accepted something as long as you did why you ended up in a relationship that was ultimately very toxic 
um, I feel that many of you have done the healing at a soul level, which is why you have this brand new beginning, this brand new start. So many of you are on the precipice of something new. We have Michelle Lay, um, something in my heart. So I do feel like you all have really been healing at a soul level and now you're starting to feel again. And it's because you've discovered what your love language is. A lot of you have started to feel emotionally fulfilled because you started to implement self love, self care, self discipline. So now you you're moving uh, to the beat of your own drum. As I said earlier, a lot of you are doing things that's true to you now. You know, maybe in the past you were self self-sacrificing and overcompensating, um, appeasing to please even. Um, and it could have been because of whatever those um, you know those past traumas um, you know kind of of, of um, developed, you know, whatever the belief system was that you developed impertinence to love, impertinence to relationships, because this is truly where you learn to trust, where you learn how to feel protected, uh, is from your own family. So this deals with, you know, family, this deals with friends, colleagues, this deals with work, this deals with your security. So some of you grew up in households where you didn't feel safe, you didn't feel protected, you didn't feel loved. And so many of you could have started to, um, you know, you developed um, um, an unfortunate, uh, or um, I should say, you developed a m misunderstanding of what love is or what it looks like. And so I feel for many of you, you had to learn all over again what love is. And you did so by loving yourself because love is an inside job ultimately. So this is beautiful. So on the split, we have spiritual partnership. So you all are, as I said earlier, I feel like because of the healing you all have done, there is a potential that your true love is coming in because you, Whitney Houston was singing, um, you know, um, you give good love. And I feel with this spiritual partnership, this could be like a soulmate. This is someone who's like right now sitting in hermit mode, um, someone who's learning as well, someone who has taken the time out uh, to do some, you know, eternal reflection, um, someone who's taken the time out to uh, really look at things uh, internally, you know, seek the answers um, from within. This is a very meditative state, uh, contemplating, reflecting, uh, self-analysis, um, self-discovery also, ultimately. And I feel that this is what someone realizes that they want to, you know, take that leap of faith. They want this new beginning, this new start. This connection is a very spiritual connection that you are developing with someone. And this could be the reason why someone is in the background kind of praying on your downfall because this connection is undeniable. A spiritual connection is deeper than just a physical connection. Spiritual means that your souls are intertwined. This is something that is written in the stars. This is someone that is a like mind, a twin flame. Um, I just saw 1717, which is 88, eight, which is 16, which is seven. So this person is going to be rushing in after they come out of this hermit mode because this person is making some really deep changes, internal changes, spiritual changes. I also feel with that nine, that nine is about um, the highest number of change. So this person does um, eventually take action because they have gained the, you know, the knowledge or the understanding that they were seeking when they went into that hermit mode. And with baby facing and never keeping secrets, um, maybe this person has been hiding the way that they felt. You know, so this time around, they're going to be very honest, very transparent. Maybe this is someone who was kind of, you know, hiding behind a facade, pretending not to care. I do feel this is someone you may have some history with, or maybe from a former life or maybe from this life. This could be um, a friend, you know, that may have some deep-seated or deep-rooted um, emotions that they could have been hiding. Um, maybe they were hiding the fact that they wanted more. But this spiritual union, that is absolutely um, a connection that tells me this is like a cosmic companion. You know, this is someone that you have a really dope uh, synergy and chemistry with. So divine spirit of love and light, what messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpios? Who's praying on Scorpios downfall and why? Who is praying on our beautiful Scorpios downfall and why? May I have a message of love and of light, divine spirit. So I got a, two cards here that was poking out on the side. So what did I say about somebody like 
you know, hating the fact that you've grown, hating the fact that you've created boundaries. Personal growth has taught you to create boundaries because I feel in the past you had none. In the past, you literally were, you know, just being that empath, always available, always willing to help, always doing the most and not the most like, you know, doing the most for attention, but doing the most like you couldn't get someone to reciprocate those gestures that work. They wasn't matching your energy. So you've grown, you know, you started to listen to your higher self, your intuition, you started to receive like divine downloads, interventions from spirit and spirit led you to focus on the self. This is about your growth. This is about you evolving and ascending into that spiritual, um, you know, that spiritual being into that person that's wise into that person that's knowing. You know, this is a very um, powerful energy because seven is the crown chakra. So I feel like there was a lot of downloads. Maybe some of you all started to do more meditating and praying. Uh, maybe some of you all started to uh, practice um, certain, um, you know, spiritual, um, you know, certain spiritual uh, activities such as like meditating. Um, maybe you started to uh channel your energy in some way or maybe you started to uh do some meditating um uh, i said that <laughs> but maybe there was more of an intent to really channel your intention uh, maybe there was a lot of meditating uh, mantras uh affirmations speaking uh positively but there were changes nonetheless because you've grown so whatever it is that you have ex experienced it has elevated you it has elevated you spiritually as well um it has also made you very psychic very intuitive it's almost like you're amplified um your spiritual uh um powers are amplified now because it's like now you've learned how to check for those cues it's like you read body language you read energy so it's like you speak energy so now you're like a spiritual a master teacher you're like a spiritual um you know teacher as well because every great healer has to heal themselves and i feel like with this this is saying that you are also uh very spiritually strong because you have grown so these cards that flew out spiritual career so many of you are being paid for your services because you've discovered that you are very psychic or you are channelers or you are scryers. Um, you know, so you're starting to utilize your skills, gifts and talents. And some of you are being paid for your services. You know, if you aren't, this is saying that you have a future in doing so, because whatever it is that you do, um, it does have to do with um, like channeling or psychic abilities. You know, maybe you're very um, sensitive, you're intuitive as well. Um, and so we have the OJs, uh, cry together. So you do have, you know, first you had spiritual partnership and then you have spiritual career. So perhaps you and your love interest, this person that's coming in, um, into your life because you do have a new beginning. So there's going to be new energy, new tribesmen, tribeswomen, uh, that will be entering into your life, new people, because there's a chapter closing. So all out with the old and it's like in with the new, whoever this new person is, we already saw you have a spiritual partnership. So you and this person will be very close. This is like, to me, um, your homie lover friend. This is someone that you will pray with, lay with and play with like literally. Um, so with cry together, I feel like the same way you're going to play with this person or the same way that that you guys are going to be like best friends there's going to be those moments where you feel like you know you you both feel you're in a safe space where you could cry together um this is a very supportive energy i feel this is another energy of someone who's also emotionally intelligent um someone who has also been through similar experiences we just saw 27 um which is nine and nine is the hermit and the hermit is a wizard uh he knows the answers he seeks are found within so someone is right now going within searching within and that's how they're coming to discover that you know perhaps the connection with you is stronger than maybe they um than, than they anticipated uh maybe they like i in i was just picking up on somebody choosing the wrong option and now they're reflecting back but we have abundance here 88 so there is um an abundance of love uh fulfillment joy happiness health wellness this is just really showing that like your hard work and effort, whatever it is that you've done, you're you're manifesting some sort of brand new start. I feel it's rushing into you. There's some sort of wish fulfillment or some sort of acknowledgement, some sort of blessing. And this is the reason why people are praying on your downfall, because you're very emotionally fulfilled. Both of these cards are pink and this 
all um, pink card here, 88, abundance. So you are very happy. Genuinely, you're just very happy. You're happy with yourself. And this is why that true song was playing because I feel like you're being true to you first and foremost, which means you're prioritizing your needs over that of anyone else. So you have set healthy boundaries. You are focused on self-love, self-care, self-discipline, your self-worth, your self-respect, your self-dignity, yourself. And this is why you feel so emotionally fulfilled. And this is why you're going to receive whatever it is that you are emitting, whatever it is that you are um, radiating. It's like it's going to attract back to you because you attract what you are. So you're going to start attracting things to you. And I feel with this 888, that 16, that 7, that is, again, the chariot. So there's abundance that's going to be coming in, rushing in. It's coming in unexpectedly. It's coming in suddenly and I feel like you're going to be so overwhelmed with joy you're going to be so elated so happy that it's really going to bring um you know just just a sense of um bliss and peace in your life and I do feel the divine is rewarding you because of the growth um you've gone through many changes many uh life changes but you have absolutely superseded the expectations that perhaps even you had for yourself and it's because you was dedicated to um you know to to mastering yourself like you've literally uh reached a level of self mastery um, because you've done the work, you know, you didn't shy away from it. You really took the time out to heal yourself, to work on yourself, to become a better version of yourself. Um, and I feel like you've, you've been, uh, very positive in this journey. You know, of course there were difficult times, but I don't feel like there was any focus on anyone outside of yourself. And that's why this abundance is coming in. Cause this is like the divine divine's way of saying you deserve a blessing um and i feel that's why you're also you know maybe some of you all discovered um some of these spiritual gifts that you have during that dark night of the soul journey during that break with that karmic it's like you started to tap into that christ consciousness into that god frequency and some of you all started to discover what your soul's mission was what your purpose was what your life path was and that's why the divine is saying that you know the overall energy of spiritual careers like many of you are um you know are are ordained or chosen to provide um services to be that that vessel uh to be that that conduit of change and to help enlighten the others um you know you 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 literally are um a beacon of light and i feel like you being that beacon of light um, is also the reason why there's abundance coming in because you're radiating love and light therefore you're going to attract the same and so with this personal growth we see that you've done the work you've reached all the way you know remember we first started it was the first the number one new beginning that's the first chakra that's your chakra now you've ascended all the way to the seventh so that shows all of the work you did to unblock those chakras to do the healing to heal at a soul level and that's why now you are going to be emotionally fulfilled and satisfied and overjoyed so right now we have layla hathaway and this is called heaven knows so yes heaven knows the work you've been doing the heaven you know your angels your spirit team your ancestors source knows the work you've been putting in and that's why you're being rewarded i feel like that's why you're going to have major breakthroughs so let's see who's praying on scorpio's downfall and why the spiritual partnership came out somebody's going to be hating on the fact that you're you're coming into union with your cosmic companion I strongly feel like you're meeting like the yang to your yin or the yin to your yen. You know, this is someone that's absolutely in the same vibration, wavelength, frequency. And this is someone who also has been doing a lot of their own work. They've been working through their own um, karmic lessons as well. And this is someone very wise. This is someone also spiritual, someone who's also on the same frequency that will speak the same love language that will also appreciate you know, the way in which you see the world, because you see the world very uniquely, you know, and I feel like this person will understand that. And I feel like there's elements to this person that will compliment you and vice versa. You'll compliment them in a certain way. But I feel together you both are a force to be reckoned with. This is powerful. I also feel like, you know, this is um, this is going to lead to like I, I could I'm hearing marriage. I'm hearing all kind of 
See that teaching and learning 57, that's 12, that's 3. So you are the empress. And I was picking up on the fact like some, some of you all have reached a level of self-mastery. And that's what the empress energy and vibration would insinuate is that you've had to ascend to get to that role. You don't just come out of the womb an empress. You have to grow and evolve. You have to transform. You have to go through certain shifts. You have to pivot, you know. And I feel like for this energy here, teaching and learning, you've absolutely, you know, have been learning through the process you know whatever it is that life you know handed you it's like you didn't just sit there and whine and whimper and use it as an excuse to remain the same a lot of people get stuck being the same like they stay the same they feel entitled and it's like they look for people that they could project their insecurities onto and they won't have to be responsible for how they feel or for what's going on in their life but I feel for many of you all um, you've learned to take your power back you've learned your worth your value you've learned you are powerful in fact you've learned you are the master manifestors the magis the alchemists you learned that you are the conduits of change this is what an empress or even an emperor if you're masculine energy this is what you ascend to is is knowing that you are the channel like you can channel energy that you could utilize the elements around you to manifest the changes to manifest the world the life that you desire so with this teaching and learning someone has been watching and observing you from a distance and I feel it's the spiritual partnership I feel this person has discovered their love you know they've discovered they love you because you've been true it's like there's something genuine there's something different there's something authentic about you but there's something even more refreshing about the connection that this person feels they share with you and I feel like they've been watching and learning and observing and with this three vibration I do feel like there was some sort of uh, disconnect or some separation because the three is giving me like three of swords so there was heartbreak so some of you all had to learn through breaking um, you know through your heart being broken uh, some of you had to learn through loss uh, maybe even death losing loved ones family members these past couple of years have really been um, you know very significant in um, you know teaching people um, that you can't take anything for granted um, you have to really appreciate people give them their flowers while they're still here uh, but I feel like there's been some sort of uh, of the you know just emerging someone different having a different perspective a different ideology or belief system now that you've experienced some of those changes um, we have Ralph Ralph Tresvant and this is do what I got to do playing. So, yeah, many of you had to do what you had to do to heal um, because a lot of you had to heal on your own. There was no support team. There was no, you know, uh, close friends. In fact, you had to get rid of a lot of those people because you discovered during these moments um, that they weren't who you thought they were. A lot of them were wearing masks. He was dealing with a lot of snakes. So you've learned, you know, that's why we had the personal growth because you didn't go through anything. I feel like you grew through the process. It was all designed um, for you to evolve, for you to elevate. And I feel like that's why you're being rewarded. Um, and my throat is getting blocked. So whoever this is, this is someone that may have difficulty expressing their feelings, expressing their truth. Um, <clears throat> but I do feel eventually they will they will emote they will express whatever it is because they're learning you know they're learning something maybe they're watching you this is someone that does want to reunite or reconnect um you know but they are going to eventually do whatever it takes to try to come back into your life and i do feel this is the spiritual partner and not the person that's preying on your downfall i feel this person is preying on your downfall because you have a spiritual partner that is going to reunite with you and because you have an eye spy they're going to discover that and they're going to be very perturbed so let's see who's praying on scorpio's downfall and why thank you spirit so we have two messages so we have adventure 55 so ev many of you have been sitting in the house just kind of just like bored to death <laughs> you haven't had any excitement and some of you all need to change that routine it's becoming very habitual if you will so it's like you need to step outside of the house um you know bored you know just just complacent 
you know, doing the same thing day in, day out. It's like you need to like, you know, add some excitement into your life. Be daring, be risky. If there's something that you always said you wanted to do, if you have the money, the coins to do it, go do it. You know, some of you all have never been on a trip you know, like an international trip. I was picking up in a former reading that some of you don't have like passports and you need to go get a passport. Like you really need to start like doing things, stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, there's people who have never left their hometown in this world. And it's just crazy to me. It's so bizarre because look how vast this world is. This world is huge. And for you to just know one little town, it's like a little speck on a globe and you haven't even broadened your horizons or, you know, went out there and explored the world it's like earth is your turf you know what i'm saying earth is your turf so it's why not travel why not go and and see things you've never seen and really discover you know what it is you like you may realize like dang i don't want to live in this particular area no more i want to move all the way over there so it's like there's, there's a need to to change the routine because i feel like some of you are very routine um you're just not willing to compromise or to bend. And some of you all need a little bit of adventure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this 55 is telling me that there's an ending. Um, 55 endings also mean new beginnings. And remember, the new beginning did open up the reading. So I do feel like many of you are now going to start getting to that place where you're going to be a little more spontaneous. You know, you're going to be a little more risky, a little more daring. You're not going to live, you know, so, so, um, you know, I just feel like you're going to live um, on the edge a little bit. You know, you're going to take it back to how you used to be when you was teenagers, you know, just rebellious, you know. So I do feel, you know, there's also a potential that somebody, you know, new could be coming in and they could kind of like, you know, activate some sort of risky behavior. You know, um, I heard risky business. So we got 81 here, leadership. This is the outcome for you all. So someone is absolutely hating the fact that you are your own leader now. Like I said earlier, you're being true to you first and foremost. We got love partnership on the bottom of the deck. So not only do you have a spiritual partnership, but there's also love. So this is beautiful because this is like a wish fulfillment. This could be someone that walked away from you that wants to return because I get like the 26, the eight of cups someone that you could have walked away from what's beneath that underneath that rather we got relationship change rebirth wow so relationship change rebirth so and, th and these are all blue cards and this the, the blue deals with the throat chakra and remember my mouth started getting dry right in the beginning of the reading so i do feel like this person does have difficulty expressing themselves they don't really emote they don't really express they don't really communicate very well but i feel that's something that they're working on because they're in hermit mode and maybe these are things that they're looking at within themselves this is like self-discovery this is also like seeking answers and the answers you seek are found within so that could be someone's vice that could be something that someone needs to get past is you know their fear of communicating their fear of expressing their feelings their fear of allowing themselves to be vulnerable um you know and and then with this adventure right next to it what's hidden i feel that's also you know something that this person is needing um to you know get out of their comfort zone to be more willing to compromise because that's what a relationship requires um is compromise so whoever this is the spiritual partner um they're doing some internal work and they're going to be honest and um with themselves first and foremost and with them being honest with themselves then they'll be able to um extend that honesty um and transparency to you um, but this leadership, there is people hating and preying on your downfall because you're a boss, because to, to be honest, you weren't always this, you know, I feel like you have come to this place where you now have this confidence, you are more willful, more ambitious, um, you are more determined than you ever been. And I feel like it's because you're kind of like making up for lost time. Um, you realizing that you wasted a lot of time with someone, but the divine wants you to know that there's no such thing as time being wasted when you are learning lessons, regardless of how long the lesson took for you to learn it. The, the, the point is you learned it and now you could look back in awareness and see the, you know, the grievous errors that you made. That's all about accountability, responsibility, taking onus. And, and so now that you've done so, you've, you've gotten to the place where you're now a leader. You know, as I said earlier, you know, every great healer had to first heal themselves. Well, every great leader 
had to first learn to lead themselves. You had to lead yourself out of a very toxic and, and, and volatile relationship. And now you're in the space where you feel powerful. You feel almost like, you know, that sense of invigoration. You feel rejuvenated even. You feel redeemed, you know, because whoever you was dealing with, I do feel like they um, broke you. They broke you, but you're healing. You're healing. You're still healing. And um, this is a part of the reason why these people are praying and hating on your downfall because they can't figure you out. And with this song, um, who is this playing? Oh, that's Shaka Khan. I feel for you, you know. So someone does start to um, come to this realization that they do feel for you. They do have feelings for you. Um, you know, maybe they love you. You know, maybe they're starting to admit um, to themselves that, you know, it's, 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 it's possible that you're the one that got away. You know, it's possible that you're the one that got away. And so now they're kind of, you know, sitting here feeling foolish because now somebody else is swooping in. This is the heart of the matter. Somebody is swooping in, and this isn't just any old somebody. This is an actual twin flame soulmate. But whoever it is that was playing the games that could have potentially lost you um, is going to regret this for the rest of their lives because you were a true one. You were a rare breed. Um, empaths aren't um, someone or some you know individuals you just bump into every day. Empaths are more rare than one would ever imagine. And I feel many of you all are empaths, um, not just because you're Scorpios, but because of, you know, the your soul's contract. This is who you are as a person. You've, you've been in relationships. Most narcissists are attracted to empaths because they can just use them as their life force. They could just live vicariously through them. Um, and they're just very parasitic and leechy and they just take what they need and just leave you there um, for whenever they need another, um, you know, a, a, another supply. But for you all, I feel because of the the determination, um, the drive to to become better, to become stronger. Um, that's why there's blessings coming in, not only financially, but I also feel in terms of love. I see that things are improving for you because you have a love partnership here. Someone could be in a love partnership um, with another person, another karmic. And I feel this could be your spark, the, the person you have a spiritual connection with. They could be also in a karmic relationship and they're going to be severing that relationship so that they could come towards you because I do feel like someone's leaving a love partnership. And then we see rebirth underneath that. So there's something transforming and changing and transformation and rebirth is scorpionic energy that speaks to a death and ending and not just any type of ending, but a very painful ending. Um, but it leads to someone just kind of emerging um, from those ashes uh, stronger and wiser. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's get some additional messages. I'm going to pull some messages from the energy oracle. So look at that walking away. So someone is walking away from a love partnership. Someone could be walking away from a marriage. Someone could be walking away from a partner. Um, and it's because I feel like someone is starting to discover that they have feelings for you because we have Shaka Khan. I feel for you. I think I love you. So someone is coming towards you. So this person may have walked away. I was picking up on someone that could have been like, you know, a friend. Hold on one moment. Let me get comfortable. Pardon me. So I do feel this is someone that you could have been friends with. This could have been like, I don't even want to call it a friends, but with benefits. This could be someone that um, that you had a really dope connection with. But this person chose another option. And I feel like now they're, they're kind of like regretting choosing that other person because they're realizing they feel for you. And it was just 42, 42, that's 6, 6, that's 12. Um, so that's uh, 3, that's the empress. So someone would, could have been in a marriage. Someone could have been dealing with the mother of their child. Or they could have been with someone because of children. Um, but this person, for some reason, they can't get over you and the connection. We got Maze, Frankie, uh, Beverly, and Maze uh, saying, and I can't get over you. So this person, maybe they can't get over the fact that you walked away. Maybe you got to a point where you realized that someone could have been potentially trying to juggle you. Maybe you had um, expectations of the connection growing deeper, but it, it, it just stayed at a standstill. And so you chose to walk away. Um, maybe you walked away from someone and they can't get over you, that karmic, that ex, uh, because 
as I said, you have created healthy boundaries, uh, but you walked away from something because you obviously didn't feel like you were being emotionally fulfilled or you weren't being respected or appreciated or valued the way that you deserved. You didn't feel like you were being, you know, um, shown a love and attention, affection like you. you there was a reason for you to walk away because it takes a lot um, for someone to walk away after they've invested so much. So something had to happen. Maybe there was some sort of truth that was revealed. Remember true was playing by Spandu ballot. So maybe you found out some, somebody had some sort of triangular situation or was trying to triangulate you, uh, and you walked away cause you wasn't having it on the split. We have the sun. So you walking away is the reason why, um, you have a lot of happiness and joy. It's like you receive some sort of clarity, illumination. I definitely feel like, um, someone is seeing you in a whole new light. You know, someone is seeing you as, you know, the source of, you know, their happiness. Maybe you walking away sparked something in someone to make them realize how much joy and peace and happiness that you actually brought into their lives. But I also feel like, you know, you focusing on you, yourself and you has also made you happier um, because you had to eliminate this other person that was kind of occupying most of your time and most of your attention and was never willing to reciprocate. So it's like now there's just like this aha, there's like this new beginning, there's like a dawning of a new day. Um, you feel refreshed, you feel revig invigorated, you feel rejuvenated. It's like there's optimism, there's joy, there's also some sort of blissing, um, something that's going to make you very happy. So, you know, walking away is a sign of strength as well as a sign of you know taking your power back um, a sign of self-respect uh, when you walk away from someone or something that isn't giving you know that isn't reciprocating or matching your energy and vibration then it shows that you know I know my worth and if you don't see it and don't know it and don't appreciate it you don't deserve it and so that's what I feel you 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 kind of walked away from someone that wasn't honoring you and respecting you in that regard so with this, I can't get over you. Somebody can't get over the fact that you walked away, as I said. They can't control you anymore because you are now in this boss energy, leadership energy. So you know your worth. So I definitely feel like you are coming off very strong. You're taking control of your own subconscious thoughts. So you're not allowing anyone to manipulate mine up, you know, gaslight you. You know, there's none of that going on. They can't even do it. Because you, you've grown wiser. We saw the personal growth. We also saw teaching and learning. So you've learned a lot through this relationship. That's why I said this was preordained. It was destined to happen this way. It was almost like it was written in the stars for you to experience this. This was a part of your, um, I feel like your soul's contract. So let's get one more shuffle and then we're going to cut the deck. See what we got coming and going out going on for my beautiful Scorpios. Who's praying on Scorpios downfall and why? We have a message of love and light. And so you have second chakra archangel Uriel. And this is Ariel, pardon me. So that's exactly what what you are discovering. You're discovering your power. You know, when you start focusing on the self, then you can start tapping in to some of those skills, those gifts, those talents. That's why I was saying earlier, I was picking up on the fact that many of you discovered what your soul's purpose was, your mission. You know, you realized that you had a greater purpose here through, you know, the process of healing. You know, you discovered your talents. Maybe some of you started to hone those skills, gifts, and talents during that healing process. But this is all about the self-care. This is also about moving to the beat of your drum. So there's something very unique in the way in which you uh, provide a service. You know, there's a lot of people out here that um, uses scrying as a means to channel information. Um, you could scry with water, with dirt, with coffee. You could scry with the clouds. You could scry with smoke. You could scry with flames. So people have so many different plow powers. Uh, maybe some of you are clairaudient and you may use music or you may use sounds, you know, uh, movies, whatever, to, to be able to interpret messages. But there's just a very unique way in which some of you all are providing services. And I feel like the divine is saying that those services, um, you're going to be very um, blissed. You know, there's going to be a lot of abundance. Maybe you're going to meet a partner, um, you know, meet your, your business partner that will eventually become like your spiritual partner because the 78 reduces to 15, that's six. 
and um, six is the numbers of the lovers and the lovers could absolutely speak to you know business partnerships um, or even love partnerships but this is like preordained your angels ancestors are conspiring behind the scenes to bring this union into um, fruition it's like you're being aligned with your purpose and we have goddess of the moon so I do see here that there is um, there is something hidden, something manifesting also. Um, it's just like a wish fulfillment because we have goddess of the moon. So some of your prayers, some of the petitions you've been sending up, some of those affirmations, mantras, you know, when you was in that meditative state, contemplating, you know, healing thyself, all of those prayers that you sent up, I feel like spirit is saying they're manifesting. I also feel like there's going to be a lot of truths revealed. We have um, the Blackbirds, and this is called Rock Creek Park. So I'm getting with rock. I feel like there's something very solid that's coming in. It's in form of a wish fulfillment. And I feel it's solid because it's like it's it's what the divine is sending you. So the divine is aligning you. Um, with something that's going to make you feel very successful, very abundant. I just saw 49, 49. So that reduces to eight because that's 13, 13. So eight, that's a wish fulfillment. And then we got eight here, 88. So there, that was 888 because I saw 49, 49. So definitely there's a wish fulfillment here. That's also karmic justice. I feel like this is something that you've earned. Like this is like a part of your karmic justice. This is the universe working things out in your favor. And it's because you have taken the time to do a lot of deep dives, healing, internal healing. This is like you also discovering um, some of the things that you also needed to work on, you know. And this is what led to you be feeling emotionally fulfilled, you know. So let's see. This also could speak to somebody having a lot of love, an abundance of love. And that's why you're being prayed on and, you know, somebody's praying on your downfall. You know, because you're you're very in tune like that's this. The moon is really about, you know, intuition. It's about reflecting back. So this could be like um, a shadow. This could be someone who was um, a shadow version of you. And they kind of reflected back to you the work you needed to do on yourself because maybe, you know, there was a point in time where you both were vibrating on the same frequency and the work that you've been doing kind of it's it's helped you to ascend, to grow. And remember, we saw teaching and learning. So not only are you the student, but you could be the student and the teacher at the same time and vice versa. Someone else could do the same for you. But I do feel like there's there was so many lessons um, that you all have learned you know, and there was so many things that you may have unraveled uh, within yourself, discovered about yourself. And that's why you transformed and changed ultimately, because you realized that you couldn't remain the same person. Um, you couldn't think the same. You couldn't act the same, respond the same. Um, you couldn't extend yourself in the same way. 51, 51, that's 6, 6, that's 12, that's 3. And that's what led to you uh, transforming into that empress energy, self-mastery. Because remember, we had 57 teaching and learning. That was the empress. So this is about you ascending into that role. That's why you have emotional fulfillment here, because you did the work. A lot of people pretend that they've done the work and they haven't even begun the work. Because the work isn't just done, you know, in a day. It isn't done in a month. The work continues. You continuously do the work. You're always healing. You're always growing. You're always learning. At least you're supposed to be. So with this moon... This is like taking deep dives. This is also self-discovery, you know, discovering a lot about yourself. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Why is this abundance card here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? I may have a message of love and of light. And we have Curtis Mayfield, give me your love. So that I'm, I heard incubus, succubus immediately. As soon as I heard give me your love. So this could be somebody who's, you know, just very... um. Look at that. And we got financial constraints. So this is somebody that just wanted you to give you, you know, give your love freely. This is action. See, so something's coming in quickly. You got 888 here. 888 and then 17 reduces to 8. So you have uh, blessings coming in, abundance coming in quickly. It's coming in quickly. This is yin yang. So this is about balance being restored. 
So you could have been dealing with someone, as I said earlier, that could have really affected you financially, just sucked you dry. Not just emotionally, mentally, spiritually, but they also sucked you dry, took everything you got, you know, but now there's a blessing coming in. And I feel like you could feel it, you could sense it. It's like there's a knowingness that something is coming in. This is bringing, this is like restoring the balance. This is truly restoring the balance. 888 is here so there is absolutely some sort of wish fulfillment and give me your love this could even be you know someone coming in offering love whatever this is that you endured this 13 this is the end the end of struggling the end of robbing peter to pay paul to try to pay peggy you know what i'm saying like this is really a a a change this is what this person did this was the death the death of that the death of the lack mentality the death of struggle, you know, the death of dealing with someone that's just there to take and not, you know, to to make deposits. And that's what you had to endure. You had to learn self-sufficiency. You had someone that was codependent on you, someone that was using you so that they can uphold whatever fake lifestyle they was living. Many of you don't even realize you were funding the narcissists, um, you know, explorative um and 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 um you know explorative rendezvous with other people like you may not even realize it but this is a very um real thing that a narcissist does they'll steal your money to go entertain another person they'll take from you and will be up in somebody else's face spending the money that they know is for the household but they'll go take it and spend it and splurge it on their new source whatever this new source is they're working on but this is the end of that you know with give me your love somebody just was demanding shit from you they expected you to bend over backwards and a lot of you all were enablers for quite a long time you know but then you woke up then you grew up i feel a lot of you started to, to you know to see things for what it truly was and you started to make those changes as necessary but there was someone demanding ish from you because with curtis mayfield some of you all was dealing with someone who first or middle or last name was curtis or mayfield um but you definitely was de de dealing with someone who was codependent on you and and their codependency on you led many of you um, to being broke. Um, definitely, they tapped into your savings. They were stealing money from you left and right. You couldn't keep money around when it, when you had that narcissist or you had that that parasite or that leech, you know, that energy vampire just scraggling along, you know. And that's the reason why spirit is blessing you with someone that is on your frequency and vibration because many of you all were, you know, dealing with someone that was definitely not on your level very immature very entitled but i feel like you learned you learned how to stand perpendicular in your square like you learned from this experience it wasn't for nothing it's like you didn't go through it for nothing you didn't walk away worse i feel like you walked away wiser you know what i'm saying this person didn't break you they made you stronger you know and ultimately, you started to look at like whatever isn't growing is dead. You know what I'm saying? Look at this situation. What's growing there? There's cobwebs. The, the, the cabinet is, is, you know, the pantry is completely empty. It's like this person wasn't feeding or nurturing you. The only source was whatever you was providing. And it's just like that is a very, um, very succubus energy, very incubus and just taken, you know. But I feel like that's what's leading to this. You know, this is what you are deserving of. That's what you are rightfully um, supposed to be connected to is someone on your vibration and frequency. You probably was trying to have these deep old conversations with that karmic and they couldn't even ke keep up. You know, it's like a lot of the car um, narcissists, they talk in circles. They make zero sense. And it's because they wear a mask and they, they, they. You know, they're utilizing a facade to appear a certain way. And if you're not, you don't have a trained eye, like if your first eye isn't open, if you're not an intuitive person, you fall for it. You'll just think that they're just so happy-go-lucky. They're so charming. Oh, my God, they're so charismatic. Everybody loves them. And it's because they literally wear masks. My bottle just, like, creaked. So I guess that was, like, confirmation. 
You know what I'm saying? And so some of you all was dealing with someone who just, you know, to everybody else, they was just this happy-go-lucky person. But to you, they was a freaking demon seed. And it's because with you, they don't have to wear the mask. With everyone else, they do. That's how they lure people in because they're always looking for sources. They're always looking for another source of, of energy, of time, whatever it is that that person can provide. They're always looking for somebody that's going to top you. Let's not get that twisted. And the moment they think they found it, that's why you end up discarded. That's why you end up ghosted. They don't speak to you because they don't found somebody else. And they love bombing them hard, heavy because the way that they love bombed you heavy. But what you will see is that they are well received by the external world. Everybody thinks that they're just so charming. Oh my God, they're so flattering. They're so amazing. And that's because they're just introducing that version of themselves they can't keep up that facade for very long which is why they tend to be flighty in and out because it's like they have to go and tighten up the mask and then they come pop, pop back up so they give people bits and pieces of themselves so that they don't you know uh start to become aware of the trickology and the games that they're playing the way that you are starting to see them so with this this is what they cause you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got Luther Vandross, um, Vandross here and now. So this person, spiritual partnership, this person is going to be here and now. They're going to be with you. You know that saying, be here now? That's like be present, be in the moment. That's what this person is going to do. There's not going to be any concern or worry or fear of what they're doing or what their intentions are because they're going to be there with you right there in that moment, which means that they are going to match your fly and your vibration. They're going to speak your love language. They're coming in because they know what you need and they're here to give it to you. They're here to give it to you and someone is going to be perturbed because someone else could be struggling. This is a part of their karma. You know, whatever someone else did to you is like they have to reap what they sowed. You're reaping what you sowed. And that's why you have abundance coming in. So let's see. Thank you, spirit. We got door to spirit here. So this is this door is opening up. And I feel someone is going to open up um, and communicate. They're finally going to take that leap of faith. They're finally going to open up that throat chakra and communicate and express what they want. This person may visit you. I feel like this person may travel to see you. There's distance. I definitely feel like there's some distance, whether, um, you know, physical distance, maybe even emotional, because if you haven't communicated with someone, which I don't feel you have, because this is giving me hermit, you know, you or both of you, you know, you and the person you're attracting, this twin flame, this cosmic companion are both in a hermit mode, healing themselves like we saw teaching and learning. So both of you are in a very um, studious energy, very, you know, um, self-reflective type of energy. But there's just going to be that moment where the door um, is, you know, going to be opened up to express someone's truth. Someone's going to want to express their truth. They're being motivated. They're being encouraged to to say these things because this leads to i feel you know some sort of of marriage five is the hierophant um in traditional tarot and the hierophant speaks to marriage um it also speaks to someone doing a lot of uh spiritual work you know um going to perhaps a pastor a practitioner a master teacher you know maybe even speaking to you know, the elders in their own family, the matriarchs or patriarchs within their family, family members that have dealt with, you know, marriages for 30, 40 years, 32 years. Somebody could have been married for 27 years, 32 years. But, is you know, it's like someone is seeking wise counsel, you know, higher learning from someone that they can um, get those fruits of knowledge. Um, but this is, you know, also telling me that with the spiritual partnership, this leads to marriage because that five is the hierophant. So this is beautiful. So we got strategy. So someone is absolutely trying to plan and prepare their way to come into your life. Um, this is someone who's not usually, um, you know, very expressive. Um, they're not usually the type to take charge. Um, but I feel like this is something they're now 
um, being encouraged to do by spirit. Maybe they are taking that time out to pray. Um, maybe someone is strategizing and planning and preparing to come toward you uh, to say how they feel. With 5-5, five, five, I do feel both of you have been growing spiritually. Um, with 8-8, eight, eight, I do feel like you're also both... Um, in this energy of feeling fulfilled emotionally, especially after disappointment. Whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's you and a twin flame that could potentially be mirroring one another. Um, so I do feel that this person is starting to um, grow a little antsy now, you know, because they're seeking more adventure. Um, you know, they've been in, you know, been doing a lot of internal work. You know, they've been kind of like, you know, um, disconnected from the outside world. Um, not listening to the chatter, not listening to the, you know, to all of the hearsay. They just been really doing a lot of internal self audits. And now there's like this desire to get out there. Um, there's this willfulness, this determination. Um, and I feel like they're going to take action because they do realize they have a lot of passion, a lot of love. Um, we have, um, the rockers revenge. This is called battle cry. You know, so someone was definitely in some sort of battle. And we do see that because we got love partnership. Remember that? And then we see this uh, relationship change. So someone is definitely feeling the loss, the pain um, of, you know, a relationship ending. Y'all could have even um, experienced that heaviness, that loss. Because, I mean, let's just face it. I mean, even though you know someone's toxic, um, a relationship takes a turn for the worse. It's like you do still miss the relationship. You miss having a partner. You miss having that friend, that person that you could lean on, that person that you know is going to be there for you. So there could be that, that feeling of, you know, um, feeling melancholy and sad, but doing part two, uh, some sort of ending of a relationship, but every ending denotes a new beginning. And I do feel like someone is now, um, you know, kind of strategizing their way back in, uh, because maybe they're reflecting back and realize that connection that they always had with you. Just, it just made so much sense. It's just, maybe you just, you know, there's just certain things that they were looking for, um, in the people that they could have chose over you or the people they were in relationships with that you may have, um, that you may have done and they just never saw it, you know, not quite the same And um, and that kind of had them wondering like, dang, you know, um, is Scorpio the one, you know? So now they're willing to be risky, be daring, uh, they're strategizing, you know, some way to come back in, some way to reconnect, because uh, five is the throat chakra. So communicating, um, expressing, maybe they're going to invite you out, uh, maybe to dinner, maybe to um, have drinks, maybe, you know, just to go take a nice walk. Maybe they'll invite you on a trail to go take a nature walk, maybe invite you someplace where you will be in a nature setting or be somewhere where there's some sort of adventure. So maybe a boat ride, I heard a boat ride, maybe a fishing trip. Um, maybe they are just going to just invite you someplace where it's going to be fun. Um, I'm hearing like a Dave and Buster's setting, uh, maybe to play pool. Uh, but it's just, it's something different. It's like a different setting. Um, it's not just, uh, and I'm feeling like it's not even your, like dinner, you know, cause that's so typical. You know, I feel like they want to do something different than what you may have done before. They want to just experience a dip. They want to experience this connection in a different setting, you know? So let's see, what do we have? Why is this adventure here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Why is 55 adventure here? For who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. May I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. See that? Man holding a, a heart. So this is what this person is doing. They're planning and preparing a way to come in to express to you how they truly feel. And this is the same person, that spiritual partnership. Because this is a nine vibration and this is a nine vibration. So this is that person who's in hermit mode. And I feel like they do watch you from afar. That's why they're learning. They're learning from watching you. So they could be still seeing you. And this is the magician. So the magician. So someone's manifesting you or you could have been manifesting this person. But with this eight, there's a wish fulfillment coming in. This person is going to express how they feel. We have um, bounce, rock, roll, skate. So this person is definitely someone that could have bounced out of your life. And, you know, through reflecting back, they're realizing that they have a lot of love. This is someone that's been holding on to this connection as well. I feel like they were holding back. I feel like they was putting on a facade. 
um, that they didn't care maybe because as I was picking up maybe they could have been in another relationship and they was trying to make that work and be, when that relationship didn't work they realized you know that they had deeper feelings with you but there was definitely a connection that someone was in and this connection is something they have to walk away from because they want to come towards you because they have a lot of love you have a man holding a heart coming towards you ladies and for you masculines you have a woman holding a heart coming towards you regardless of the energy on the cards just switch it so that it makes sense but with this this is a wish fulfillment because remember we got abundance and then we have action and this is also an eight so you got eight 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 so some of you all have master manifested this set your intention you focused on that what you wanted you set up your prayers petitions you written in your manifestation journals and it's like the divine is like and so it is so mode it be but you are the master manifestors the magis and that's why this person is coming in this person has been holding on to you this is someone that absolutely loves you and this is that person that you're going to have a spiritual connection with partnership with twin flame energy soulmate energy yin yang energy cosmic companion energy this person has a whole lot of love and they, they they've they've grown this is somebody that's been, you know, reflecting, eternal reflections. They've been reflecting and they've come to this epiphany. So with this leadership, I feel like this also says that you've took, taken matter, matters into your own hands and you've made the necessary changes, which is why you're being acknowledged and blissed, you know, which is why your scene is very powerful. So why is this 81 leadership here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? See that? You're causing that hater those people planning and preparing and your downfall a lot of anxiety and stress because they were once in a position of being able to control to manipulate and to monopolize situations and they no longer can do it because you're very in tune you know who you are now so a lot of you all bounced on that ass a lot of y'all cut people off you know that you felt wasn't serving your highest good a lot of you all fell all the way back because that's still the vibration of the hermit and in that hermit energy, that's where you started to refine, rejuvenate, recuperate. That's where you started to assess and observe people and their behaviors, the way in which they treated you, the way in which you allowed them to treat you. And that's how you were able to take onus and accountability ultimately, which makes you more, um, you know, of uh, that conduit of change because you're turning your pain into power. And so we have here angel of strength see that that's what you did you mustered up the strength the courage the wise dome you know this is spiritual strength this is learning your value your worth and then you have this storm warning so I feel you're strong enough to deal with whatever you know whatever this warning was you 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 stood in the face of that adversity and you confronted it head-on and that's why it's just a warning because this is like an ending you know that 10 represents some something coming full circle and this is also speaking to you know the end of a dark period in your life a karmic you know completion you know going through you know tornadoes are uh you know they happen suddenly they're unexpected most of the time and so i feel like something just completely rocked your world because we still have bounce rock skate roll and this is by um who is this It just says various artists. Oh, it says Vaughn, Mason, and crew. So, yeah, that's what that's what led to, you know, I feel like many of you kind of bouncing out of a situation and taking your power back, you know, and, and, and focusing on, you know, your own self-care, self-worth, you know, looking in the face of the adversity, whoever this was that was causing a lot of main, mental anguish, confusion I feel like for you initially this is what they're stuck with because I do feel someone is now going through something karmic like they're going through their own karmic lessons because of the way in which they chose to treat you or the way in which they dealt with you or handled you but I feel like you know whatever this was this emotional upheaval that you had to experience this is like this shows you know your resilience you've persevered through something that was potentially threatening life-threatening you know and through this you've emerged someone stronger 
it's here angel of strength your angels were protecting you and you have 81 leadership so now you've learned to not only be strong but to to own your power to stand in your power to demand your respect to focus on self-care you're being true to you first and foremost now you're not putting anyone else before yourself and that's what you know that's what you're supposed to do you got it's about self-preservation out here and so we have um mcfadden and whitfield ain't no stopping us now so there's no stopping you now because now once you know the truth you can't go back to being completely mind upped you know once you see you can't go back to being completely blindfolded you know once you're out of the illusion you can't go back to being gaslit so it's like now someone is like damn the jig is up and it's because you have found balance within yourself and you've also found that cosmic companion that twin flame the yin to your yang someone is very ang anxious someone is regretting this is like the nine of swords this is someone waking up in the middle of the night this was definitely someone who has attachments you know that codependent person this is that person that was wearing the mask you know this is that person that's being forced to assess themselves because you're leaving them behind ain't no stopping us now there's no stopping what the divine has ordained there's no stopping someone who knows their power you know that's practicing self-love self-care and this is someone coming in that's intentional so they're not coming in to waste your time and you're going to attract what you are so this person is matching your vibration both of you have this love for self this 8-8 eight, eight abundance, this is like emotional fulfillment. You feel e fulfilled, you feel elated because you have love first and foremost with yourself. You have um, focused on self-love, you know. That's an inside job. So not only did you do that work, but I feel the person you're attracting did it as well because we got that 8. And so now wish fulfillments, blessings, opportunities can start coming in because you've done the work. This is powerful energy here. I love it. So let's see who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why. Let's get the uh, hoodoo tarot deck. Bottom of the deck, we got Miss Eda. Trust your intuition. Many of you, like I said earlier, are very sensitive to energy. You know, so so many of you just already have this inkling, this knowing, you know, because you speak energy. So you feel energy. And when someone comes around you or if somebody reaches out to you, um, you know, trying to throw you off um equilibrium or out of equilibrium i feel like you're just gonna know because there, there's some secrets and lies that you may still uh start you know things may start to um come to light you might uncover a lot of information here and so we have midnight star midas touch so you all have the midas touch see that we got the ace of swords and we got this um, high priestess. That's what Miss Eda is, is the high priestess. So I absolutely feel like some of your um, ideas, maybe some of you all are revolutionizing um, some new way of doing something. Because remember, you got spiritual career, which flew out. Um, and we're about to clarify that. And with Midas Touch, I feel like there is just great success with something that you have developed we have the son of coins. So this was absolutely something that came from your mind. So you have revolutionized something. Um, you have created something that is going to be very successful. I just see opulence. I feel it's it's really luminous, uh, luminous energy, a really abundant energy. Um, but I also feel because he's pointing directly at the son of coins. So you could also have like offers business partners um there could be some sort of positive investment i feel like whatever this is it's it was a thought it's like literally you turned your thought into reality um maybe this was an idea you had years ago and you just started to uh hone it and work on it and now it's like you got the midas touch it's like it's very successful it's taking off and you've studied this is something you've been studying something you've been learning see how he's pointing directly at that Scorpio so this is like the divine's way of saying like he's assigning you all 
some sort of role because you have the Midas touch. This is what you are ordained to do. This is what you are called to do, what you are meant to do. So this is powerful. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? And, why? and that could be another reason why you have a lot of people hating on you because they could see your light. You know, don't get it twisted. There's a lot of lost souls, demons, energy, demonic energy, you know, here. And, and their goal is to, to thwart you, to distract you, to take you off your path. And so that's why you have to be very mindful of who you have around you because everyone isn't in your life for the right reason. Some people are there to be the distractions and some are there to help you to get to that next level. We see here the nine of pentacles and the 10 of wands. So this could very much been the dynamic of whatever that karmic relationship was that you parted ways from. Um, it was very burdensome. You was carrying all the responsibilities, doing everything on your own um, and just feeling overwhelmed under, you know, underwhelmed at the same time and overburdened, but feeling also unappreciated. And then here, this is you kind of tapping into that, you know, the divinity of that divine feminine and masculine, where you're starting to create, you're losing yourself in something creatively. And I feel like that's where the spiritual career is birthed. You know, you're turning that thought into um, actual reality, you're birthing new ways of thinking styles. And the nine of coins that nine of pentacles is truly like pre emperor status and see that now the wheel is turning you're going to get recognized this is like the wheel of fortune here aunt caroline so there's like you know you're going to get publicity there's going to be a lot of people talking about whatever the success is but it's something that you have done um that you done that you do uniquely because you got Midas touch. So whatever it is that you do, you do it very well. And that's why you got a lot of press, a lot of people um, speaking about it, like celebratory energy. Some of y'all might make it to the news, um, but this is speaking to something destined. So I do feel you all have a calling. Some of you all have an actual calling to provide, you know, some of these services. And remember, you do this very uniquely with that angel, um, Archangel Ariel. So let's see what we have here for my beloved Scorpios. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? That's why you got people hating and praying on your downfall because you have some sort of, you know, success. There's a major breakthrough. There's celebratory moments. You're being recognized. You're being acknowledged for something you do very well. And this is a very jealous, envious energy that is feeling perturbed by you by you constantly succeeding after they tried everything they could do to control you. You got the nine of baskets here. This is wish fulfillment. This is you moving to the beat of your own drum. Me, myself, and I. That's what this energy is all about. You stop focusing on whoever that past person was that was really causing a lot of frustration, anxiety, stress in your life and you started to focus on you. You started to prioritize your needs. You started to master your craft. You found harmony and balance within yourself. And that's what led to you learning some sort of skill because you started to use that energy to channel. You started to channel that energy of pain and hurt into something uh, creative. And that's how you were able to hone a certain skill. You have a twin flame coming in. The two of baskets is here. This is someone that's going to love you dearly. Look how this man, this masculine is just cheesing. So this person is really going to feel very much um, elated in your presence. You know, because this man holding a coin, they're going to be very, em like, they're going to emote. He's not going to be afraid to express his feelings, to show love. He's going to be very intentional. And he's going to show you with his actions. And this is someone that will give to you equally, like there's an equal exchange. You're not going to be carrying around 10 wands on your back by yourself, walking up a hill with a cane. You know, that was somebody that was just literally abusive, just very abusive, controlling, damn near a sociopath. So we got Mickey Howard and this says, come share my world. So yes, your soulmate, your twin flame, that spiritual partner is coming in to your life to share your world. I do feel this difference. I mean, there's distance between you and this person and they are going to re-enter your life because I do feel like, you know, you've been really just focusing on yourself, you know, taking care of you emotionally, spiritually, but also taking care of your household, your responsibilities, you know, following your dreams, your goals, going back to school, you know, but this two of cups is showing there's someone here. Someone has 
honestly, they're seeing the truth. They're seeing the light. You know, someone was forced to look at this connection. This is the hangman. Gula Black is the hangman. And so this is someone that the divine had put in a sacrificial position. And this person was, you know, having to make a decision. You could see the compass on his first thigh. So this person made decisions, choice, chose to go in different directions. And that is why they're now uh, looking at this connection with you and seeing how happy they were. This big mama is the empress. So they could have been married. You know, they could have been in a marriage. Or maybe this person is envisioning marriage with you because they want to come and share the world with you. They want to be able to experience life with you, create memories. And that is why you have people hating and praying on your downfall because this type of union is forever. You know, this is the beginning of a beautiful love story. This is someone that you will grow old with. And this is because they see you as the empress. This is the empress, big mama, the big queen rather is the empress. So that's what I was saying earlier when I saw the teaching and learning and I said that, you know, self-mastery, you know, you reach the level of self-mastery, which makes you very attractive. You know, that empress doesn't have to do too much to attract, you know, others to her because she knows her worth, her value. She's very powerful, abundant. She's very pa um, passionate. She's very um very much a master manifester, very nurturing, very maternal, very paternal. If you're masculine energy, that's what you do. You're very devoted. You're very uh, fiery, very passionate, very powerful. And so someone is really, really starting to look at things from a completely different perspective. And, and because you have love, you're now radiating love, which now makes love more attractive. It's more attracted to you. And which come share my world. Someone wants to come in and share their share your world. And so we have the four of sticks. Can't make this up. This is 1111 twin flame soulmate. Someone is coming in taking action because they want to come share your world. This is the 1111. And that's the vibration of four. So this is someone who realizes their love for you. This is someone that absolutely realizes that they have love for you. The four is the heart chakra. So this is someone that could have been holding back, but they have love. They could see themselves building with you, someone who has a lot of passion. This passion has been intensifying, and they've been trying to suppress it. They've been trying to hide it, maybe because they were dealing with, you know, karmic situations, same as you. Maybe divine timing was of the essence. But whatever this is, I feel, I feel you're going to be reuniting with someone that is your cosmic companion. Bottom of the deck, we have the grandchildren. This is the star. So this is a wish fulfillment. As I said earlier, the grandchildren and the um, hoodoo tarot is the stars. So the star is that you are going to receive a wish fulfillment. And this is leading to marriage. This is your cosmic companion. There's no question about it. The daughter of the baskets also flew out. Someone is coming in to offer you love. Someone is coming in to express their love because this is really about you know, messages, you know, that's the same as like the page of um, cups where someone is, you know, confessing, you know, admitting their feelings, admitting their deep emotions for you, something that they've learned um, to stop suppressing during that hermit mode, realizing, you know, through that self-discovery that they have to be more expressive. And this door is opening up because now they want to walk through and they want to make an offer. But this person will eventually express themselves. We have Evelyn Champagne King. And this is called shame. Maybe this person feels a little bit of shame. A little bit of remorse. For the way in which they handled this connection. Not realizing that this was a spiritual connection. That could be the reason why they don't communicate. If you don't hear from this person. It's possibly uh, because they feel shame. They feel remorse. But deep down they pray for you. Deep down, they wish for you. They hope for this connection to be reconciled. They do dream of you often. And I feel they also send you messages telepathically. And that is the reason why you have someone praying on your downfall. Because I feel like you're coming into a union with someone that is your absolute cosmic companion. 1111 came out. Your twin flame, yin yang energy also came out. We saw yin yang here which I mentioned, I also mentioned that there was attachments, there was codependency, there were karmic relationships, there was also a lot of mind uckery, and that's why there's a need to cut these karmic cords, 
So this is what the angels and ancestors are doing behind the scenes. But they also send you a lot of messages. They send your person a lot of messages so that you all can stay aware, you know, so you could have that knowingness. Mama, you know, Miss Ida showed up. So I do feel, Scorpios, you all are very aware. Miss Ida is the high priestess. This could also be the high priest energy. So your person is also very aware because they're listening and trusting their own intuition and using discernment. And I feel that's the reason why they're going to be walking away. This is giving me 26, you know, that eight of cups where they walk away from something that's no longer serving them. And that's why this 56, the um, relationship changes here, because I do feel like somebody chose someone else. And I don't feel this is the karmic. I feel like this was a friend, but this was someone that you thought the connection was going to go further, but it didn't because I feel like somebody chose someone else, which is why they're now feeling shame, according to Evelyn Champagne King. But I also feel there's going to be a moment of celebration or there's going to be some sort of reuniting with this person because I, the, the, the champagne um, reference in the song uh, in her name and then we got this man holding a heart and then we also have adventure so I do feel like there's going to be a reason to celebrate or there's going to be some sort of reuniting with this person reconnecting you know and we got the you know the stars so this is like you know someone really sees you know how much growth you know, they see the growth in you. They see how much you've healed. They see that you've evolved, that you've ascended. And this is making you very attra attractive, you know, to this person. But they also feel shame. They feel remorse. So who, why is this 55 adventure, 45 man holding a heart here for who's praying on our beloved Scorpio? And I also feel that karmic, you know, feels a lot of shame. See that? The Ten of Swords. There's shame because of the deep regret, the deep pain. You know, just like, you know, being deceitful, not being honest, not being forthcoming. Speaking with a forked tongue, I heard someone not being very transparent. And that's why there's regret and shame. That's why they want to come in. This could even be an apology, you know, someone wanting to apologize. But someone is going through a very painful ending, painful loss. Tens always denote endings. But ten swords to the um, ten knives or swords to the back is showing me that there was definitely like a betrayal, a betrayal by people that someone trusted. So they were behind enemy um, enemy lines. And whenever I see this, this looks like a church building. So I feel like someone was deceived by, um, you know, by their wife or by a husband. They feel very deceived. They feel like the people they trusted, maybe even family members, you know, maybe there was some sort of gossip circulating at church or circulating about someone within their family. But I do feel like that could be the reason why someone has been taking their time before they approach you because they're dealing with a lot of familial issues. And that's why this relationship is change is here as well, because that's the 10. And then the 11, the 56 is relationship change. So this is the decision someone makes to leave because I'm getting like the two of wands so someone's making a decision to leave this behind because that ten of swords ultimately becomes the ace of swords and that ace of swords provides clarity on what someone needs to do you know on which direction they may need to go and that eight of swords is also providing logic someone's going to use logic over emotion and so someone realizes like okay frenemies enemies, fake ass, fraudulent friends, you know, people sitting and smiling, beguiling in my face. And now they have the clarity. Now they see, you know, the, the key players. Now they see, and now there's more, uh, you know, willingness to be w risky and daring because maybe they felt very, um, controlled previously, you know, couldn't do too much, but the five of, um, knives is saying that there was a lot of arguments a lot of lies i'm seeing someone was definitely speaking with some sort of forked tongue and we see um we have d train and this is called you're the one for me so someone starts to have that epiphany remember the ten of swords becomes the ace so they're starting to look and assess everything now from that bird's eye view and they're looking at all of you know the facts and the fact of the matter is they was with the wrong person they was with someone that deceived them. They was with someone that used them. They was with someone that caused them great hurt, great pain. 
I was picking up three of swords earlier and we see the ten of swords. This is, you know, being deceived by not just your lover, but also by family members, your friends, you know what I'm saying, colleagues. Like there was deep pain and, and remorse, but someone's feelings still f are, are, are very strong for another person, a man holding a heart. So they had to heal themselves, but we also have you're the you're you're the one for me. Someone comes to that revelation that Scorpio, you're the one for them, and that's why they're making the decision to leave that connection behind. Because you got 55, and this is 56. So someone's making the decision. 56 is on the bottom of the deck. Remember that. So someone's making the decision that they need to go in a completely different direction. You know, because you're the one for them. With the D train, I do feel like, you know, if some of you all reign from New York, maybe you're on the D line, you know, that concourse area, you know, in the Bronx, or maybe some of you all are just, um, you know, at a distance. I feel like someone is definitely at a distance. But this is, you know, the five of, uh, of swords is, you know, really an energy of someone trying to win at all costs someone just like mind uckery games tricknology um this is gaslighting someone this is just talking in circles word salad you know just saying whatever they think they need to say just to take the, the you know the take the weight off of them take the heat off of them so they'll just say anything but someone sees through that now you know sees through the games the the trickery the lies the illusion so why is the leadership and the angel of strength here let me get a message. See that? This is the boundaries that were set. You know, you gave people chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity. Either you are the person you're attracting, you know, and like I said, you know, you, you've set these boundaries. You now are prioritizing your needs, wants, and desires. You also are being true to you. And so you've set the, you've drawn the line in the sand and you're saying now, like, you know, don't step the, 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 the boundaries, don't overstep the boundaries or else, you know, you're going to get served the business. But this is the energy you're in right now, nine and the nine, you know, and nine and nine reduces to nine again. So now you mean what you say because you found your strength, you know, because you found spiritual strength also. Your higher self, your angels, ancestors are also giving you those downloads, telling you to protect yourself, to not just allow anybody in. Now people got to show and prove. Not just with their words, but with their actions. Things have to match. They got to also pass that energy check in, you know, that energy check test that you have now. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not just allowing just anybody in anymore because you're protecting your peace ultimately. And so we have, um, who is this? We have Michael Wyckoff. This is called looking up to you. So now this person looks up to you because they see how you bossed up. You know, they see how you've taken your power back. They see how strong you are, you know. And so with this five of sticks now, there's gossip. See the gossip circles, the rumor mills, people talking ill, trying to defamate your character, assassinate your character. But look how your body language is. You're unaffected. You see how she's crossing her arms? So it's like that's a defense mechanism. You're not allowing any of their negativity to affect you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Many of you all have been protecting yourselves by means of, you know, taking spiritual baths, doing smudgings, regu smudgings regularly. Um, also, you know, you could be wearing like um, amulets, you know, wearing protective jewelry. Uh, but I do feel like, you know, you're unbothered. You got your back turned, so these people are really perturbed at the fact that you've moved on with your life, um, that you've taken lead, that you're being true to you, that you're not bending over backwards and self-sacrificing and appeasing to please them. So there's a lot of jealousy. But these people really, it's like a matter of they hate what they can't duplicate because they do look up to you because you have grown. Um, in order for someone to look up to you, that means that in their mind, they feel that you are above them. And so they're projecting their own insecurities onto you because I don't feel that you're acting as if you're above them I just feel that you now know your worth and value so you're not entertaining them you know the nine of wands is showing how defensive you are you're coming off very guarded you're in a protective bubble and you're keeping and maintaining a sacred space for yourself and so this causes a lot of people to have a lot to say this is chattering this is gossip um, and it's because they're they're like super concerned with you this is like they're jealous they're they're jealous at the fact that you found balance and harmony that you're back in equilibrium whereas they could be stuck you know having to deal with their karma having to deal with whatever negativity um that they were forced with maybe they're stuck with you know a karmic that they chose over you um you know this karmic 
ex could have chose a karmic over you and now they're feeling stuck and anxious and all of the emotions that you may have felt and worked through and healed from they could now be suffering from that but you're unbothered you know and there goes that two of wands remember i told you somebody is making a decision to come towards you but i do feel that there's fears you know there's a little bit of fear because they know you're guarded there hasn't been much communication but they're still taking action to come towards you um see that this is your energy defense 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 and it's because of what you endured so it's like i feel like some of you all are going to have to surrender yep this person is going to finally travel to see you they're making a decision to come towards you there is distance but you have to let your guard down you're going to have to surrender a little bit um if you you know if if you if you are interested in um love because i do feel like real love is coming in because you do have a man that's holding a heart that really truly wants to come towards you uh but they're going through their own um dark night of the soul journey same as you are and they're healing from that as well but i feel like some of you all are going to have to open up just a little bit um and not to no past person, not to no narcissist, but to this new spiritual partner that you have coming towards you. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. Let's get some messages from the dark grimoire. So we got the sun here on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like there's something opening up. There's definitely like brighter days ahead. There's something beautiful, something magical that's going to take place. Something that's going to bring a lot of happiness and joy. I also feel like you're not allowing anyone to steal your joy ever again it's like you allowed that past person to mind up you to the point where some of you all felt like you lost yourselves in that relationship you didn't even know what you wanted what you liked, your things that you were interested in um you, you lost interest you lost motivation and it's because you was with someone that really did a number on your self-esteem just like i said earlier like the devaluing state um that a narcissist uh puts you through is it's it's really um it's really um evil it's hurtful it's painful and a lot of y'all are working through that entanglement so you know now that the sun is shining that's very much um indicative of a new beginning as we saw in the beginning of the reading like you're on the precipice of a new start the sun is shining again you feel stronger you feel like you have clarity um but that's also you holding on to hope and optimism as well so we see on the split the queen of chalices look at that so this is you emotionally fulfilled Nobody can steal your joy because you are happy within yourself. You love yourself. So self-love, self-care, that's what's getting you to this point where you are, you know, coming into a happier moment. Bottom of the deck, the high priestess again. Trust your intuition. Use discernment. So two cards flew, uh, three cards flew out. So we have the sun flew right back out. So there's definitely some good news in pertinence to your career I feel like you're going to be very, um, very successful in whatever it is you're choosing to do. Whatever it is that you do um, is going to bring forth abundance. Uh, it's going to feel uh, very much like you've, you're receiving some sort of wish fulfillment here. It's like this is like opulence. This is new beginnings. This is, you know, bright future, infinite supply, better days ahead. Um, we have Shaka Khan, My Funny Valentine, that's also playing. Uh, so many of you all could be, uh, as I said, like you might meet uh, your soulmate, your twin flame, your cosmic companion uh, through whatever this career is, uh, through this career choice, through this endeavor. Um, someone could be coming in. Um, this could be someone you're manifesting. Maybe you all know that. You could sense that. So we have the world card here on the bottom of the deck. I mean, um that also flew out and so the world card shows that you know you've gained a completely different perspective um this is also someone who is at a distance or someone who's also evolved i feel your evolution your ascension your growth because you could tell that you've learned a lot she has this book on her lap so she's grown a lot i feel like many of you have really you know learned to navigate those difficult situations you've gone through so many changes um in a relationship and i feel like that's why spirit is rewarding you because it's almost like you've graduated um 
And I feel like this has shocked a lot of people. Like they didn't see this happening, you know, with that Shaka Khan reference. I feel like it shocked a lot of people. Um, but there's things happening uh, behind the scene and it's going to be very shocking to you how quickly these blessings are coming in because I do feel like there's a wish fulfillment that's on its way in. And this wish fulfillment is in pertinence to not only love, but I also, it's like, um, you know, you're going to have many, uh, you know, a lot of success, a lot of victory. And it's because of everything you've endured. You've gained a deeper, more profound perspective, um, understanding of yourself, of your circumstances. Um, you've evolved. You're in harmony, in, you know, equilibrium. You're in balance. You know, this yin-yang energy on of the horses just shows the harmony, the balance. Um, that you're in and you attracting someone your funny valentine that's like your love you're attracting someone who's going to have a sense of humor someone who's also very stimulating mentally emotionally spiritually on your same vibration and wavelength just a like mind and this is beautiful and we have here the hermit and this is clarifying the same energy that i was saying was the person you're attracting which is in hermit mode and now we got the hermit attract um clarifying that energy so this is double confirmation. So the person you're attracting is in hermit mode and they are learning and they are growing and they are healing. But I also feel it's a matter of divine timing um, that this person is going to come in because I see that clock on the wall. And I do see that this person is like really um, very focused on, you know, how they're going to approach you, what they're going to say, um, how they're going to come off. Um, this is someone that definitely wants to um, emote, articulate their words correctly, like they don't want to say something that they'll regret. Uh, this is someone that wants to extend some sort of olive branch or is going to um, just, it's like new love. You know, this is someone that has some sort of epiphany that they love you. And so with this hermit mode, you see how he's writing. Maybe this person will pen you a letter. But there's definitely strategy, you know, this person is strategizing a plan. The hermit is a wizard, so he's going within. He's not taking any advice from anyone because maybe in the past when he took the advice or when she took the advice from loved ones or family members, um, they got the wrong advice. If they do seek any advice from anyone, it's going to be from themselves because the hermit is a wizard and he knows the answers he's seeking are found within. And that's how he's having this epiphany that he has to communicate. And we have... Um, Alexander O'Neill and Sherelle, and this is called Saturday Love. So they're going to express their love because this is the page of cups. So someone is going to admit their love, express their love. Remember, my throat was getting blocked earlier. So they are going to open up that throat chakra with this 32, and they're going to express what they feel. I feel this person has also discovered their sole purpose, mission, and talents through some sort of painful loss and ending through that period of going into hermit mode it's like they tapped into that christ consciousness to that god frequency but you could feel and sense something's coming in something's happening i feel there's a knowingness someone is definitely uh coming out of a dark period a tough cycle this is the ten of wands so the same energy you was going through see this this is what this person you're attracting is coming in is it's like I feel both of you because remember you had the ten of wands and I feel they're mirroring you with the ten of swords. This could be both of your energy. You both are wrapping up karmic uh, cycles. Um, you were trapped in an illusion through words, like someone was using word salad, salad, like gaslighting. You know, words are spells, spells bind. Um, so you could have had someone who was just speaking ill of you, you know, gossiping and and, and, and and talking behind your back and saying things that are untrue and trying to, um, you know, get people to turn against you. Um, this could be just like somebody just really trying to assassinate your character. Uh, but you're getting out of that. You, you realize you were trapped um, in some sort of illusion like you that you trusted people that you should not have trusted and I feel like look at his face it's just exhaustion but the beautiful thing is it's an ending I feel you caught on you know to to what this person was doing or attempting to do and you you slowly started to plan your escape you can see that this person has like figured out how to wrap that cloth around this rock so he can climb himself out of the mouth the mouth is 
you know, what I feel someone was using against you, whether through speaking ill of you, gossiping, because you could see here these people kind of whispering behind this feminine's back. And that's what you all had to deal with. But you stayed strong. That's why you also had this storm warning, because it was like somebody was trying to really um, to block something, hinder something. But you still climbed out of that nonsense, like you were still able to escape and I feel through you escaping, it was due in part to you being very sensitive, very intuitive. You you just kind of picked up on those cues. You knew someone was, was playing games and trickology, and you got out of it. But here we see your person that you're attracting is also dealing with their own, um, their own karmic, uh, um, situation. Um, so let's see, why is 55 adventure 44, 45, Man holding a heart and the ten of knives here for who's praying or Scorpio's downfall and why. We have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And we have the nine of wands. See that? Nine of wands. So this is the defense. See that? Hangman. There goes the hangman. Remember we saw the hangman on the bottom of the deck of the um of the um the um hoodoo. So this is what somebody was forced to do. They had to look at a situation for what it truly was. And that's where they discovered somebody was deceiving them, lying to them, gossiping about them, talking ill of them. This is like the Ten of Swords is the, 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 the this is like the ultimate betrayal, the ultimate um, disappointment. Somebody could have discovered someone had a whole lover. And we got, um, this is called, um, so this is slave watching you. So there is somebody watching you and this, all of these haters. So you be mindful, you know, like privatize your accounts online, you know, don't leave your business out in, in the open, put blocks and locks on, you know, your credit, like do it, do your due diligence to pr keep your information private. Cause I do feel like people are watching you and spying on you. And we got the five of wands here and this is flying out. Uh, for the outcome here so with this energy someone was forced you know because this is a forced position the divine will will you know sit you down and make you look at things when you don't get it and so someone was refusing to see the truth refusing to see things for what they truly were you know and so now they started to realize like maybe they were under some sort of um surveillance by their karmic you know what I'm saying? Maybe they started to realize like somebody was invading their privacy with watching you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody realized that they were being lied to. You know, somebody could have been, you know, breaking into someone's accounts, reading their emails, going into their, you know, into their social media accounts, watch, just watching their activity. Maybe someone had someone install something on their phone, which could like literally trace every activity that they were doing whatever it is it was like someone felt betrayed someone felt backstabbed this could have even been like you know um someone who was you know really suffering from some sort of afflictions addictions you know this is definitely that person who could have had some sort of um you know working through their shadow side because i see pill bottles i see alcohol so somebody could have had some sort of affliction addiction you know that's that shadow energy i was picking up on so someone reflected back to them you know something they were um they weren't anymore you know that shadow energy is like that devil so that devil is very destructive and with this nine of wands someone finally you know knew it was time to to, to set boundaries because they were being spied on. They were being watched constantly. Maybe some of you all feel like you're being watched. But the um, five of wands flew out to clarify the 81 leadership, the angel of strength, storm warning, and the five of sticks. So this five of sticks came out twice. Five and five is ten. So this is the ten of wands. So this is what led to you finally, you know, taking your power back was constantly feeling like, OK, well, I'm doing everything already by myself anyway. So I might as well just keep on doing it, but do it for myself and not carry someone on my on my back constantly. So look at the fog. Look at the smog that's between this person. It's like there, there was a lot that was being done and this person didn't know. See that fog and that smog, you know, 
and this bet between you and your partner. So this person was really like gaslighting and tricking and, you know, just saying a bunch of things that they felt you wanted to hear, but they weren't really doing the work. They weren't really ch making the changes. That's why the storm warning is here. That's another 10. And then the five of sticks and the five of wands, which is both the five of wands, that makes the ten of wands. And remember, we saw the ten of wands before when we picked up the deck. So it's like that's really showing how much you were carrying alone, the, the lack of reciprocity, the lack of consideration of your feelings, of your needs, of your wants. And then you finally said enough is enough and you turned your back. This person was talking about you, gossiping, had other people watching you, like other flying monkeys spying in and reporting back to them what you're doing. Like that's that type of energy. All of this, this is like too much time and energy. And you just finally said enough is enough. Your body language says it all. You're blocked off. And so we got this nine of wands here, blocked off, guarded, not allowing anyone in. And it's interesting because these cards are mirroring. This could also be, you know, um, an indication of you and the person that you're attracting could be in the same energy as well. The nine of wands, nine of wands from two different decks. So let's see. Let's get some additional messages. I'm going to use my deck. Nope, I'm going to use Kipper. So the bottom of the deck, we got seven. And this is message. So prepare. Didn't I say that this person is preparing to express themselves and we have Eddie Kendricks this is called intimate friends didn't I say that this person that's coming towards you was like a friend you know this was like a friend whether this was a friend with benefits I didn't pick up on that but maybe it is um, but this is definitely someone that wants to be more than friends because we have intimate friends playing and so I was feeling like your twin your cosmic companion was like a former friend but you all kind of parted ways because maybe the timing I was picking up divine timing because someone was completely entangled and I feel like you all were clearing up a karmic cycle also so that's another reason why the the timing was off you know so let's see so someone is going to send a message this message is coming in unexpectedly suddenly quickly shiftly you know abruptly you're gonna you're not gonna expect this and they may call you or they very well may pen you a letter because remember, this hermit is sitting down and penning a letter, you know, but I do feel like they've been, they've been learning. They've been learning something. So they've been watching you because remember, we just had slave watching me. So with slave reference, I didn't even pick up on that then, but with slave, I feel like they were in a very toxic codependent relationship. They felt like a slave. Maybe they were being used for their finances. They were being used for something. And on the split, I can't make this up. Look at that thief. So this person was being used for their finances. We got this number 24, six. So that's the reason why that person is thinking about moving away. Cause remember we saw the six of swords. Where did we see that six of swords? The six of swords was right here, six of knives. So this is why that person is going to start moving away. This could even be you moving away after you discovered somebody was stealing and thieving from you. Because remember, I said I was feeling like somebody just completely just depleted someone's bank account, which is why that financial constraints was there. That was like the straw that broke the camel's back because somebody literally left you for dead, just left you with no money. They could have got your car repoed. They could have cost y'all to lose your apartment because they didn't come back with the rent or they stole something. But it's just like this thievery. Somebody could have been using, you know, their children as a pawn. Somebody felt very much used. And with intimate friends, this person is definitely looking to, um, you know, reconnect and, re, you know, um, reunite with you. You know, I see there's sudden wealth so be mindful because you're going to have a lot of people around you uh because i was definitely picking up like a blessing a new opportunity wish fulfillment you got the abundance card here so things are going to be working out in your favor you're going to be financially set i just feel like financially you're going to be set i feel like your business is going to be thriving and i feel like you're going to have a lot of people sitting there with their hands looking like cups um feeling entitled there goes that twin flame, baby. There goes the four. This is like the four of wands, but this is also four is the divine masculine. 
And there goes that divine masculine, that man holding a coin. I mean, a heart, pardon me. So this person is also going to be well off. But I do feel, see how that angel is shooting the arrow towards the feminine energy? And I was saying that your angels and ancestors were aligning you with the right person. And, and, and this is 4 and this is 11. So this is like 11-11 because 4 is still the vibration of 11-11. So this union, I was saying you're going to have not only love, but you're going to have blessings, like financial blessings. So you're going to feel very fulfilled, very satisfied. So let's see, who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? I already see why, you know, because you're unbothered. You took your power back. You didn't look backwards. You don't care about what people have to say. Because you know who you are. These people used to validate you to, for whatever reason. And I feel it's because, you know, um, a lot of that had to do with maybe um, your own childhood issues. Maybe issues of abandonment. Maybe you had difficult um, or estranged relationships with your mothers or your fathers. Um, so it, 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 it kind of caused you to um, respond to love in a different way. But I feel like now you guys know who you are. There's no confusion. There's no confusion. So you're prioritizing you now. And that's what's making you more attractive because that's what, you know, a divine feminine, divine masculine does is they, they love themselves right. And you teach people how to treat you. So when you're loving right, loving yourself right, and you're taking care of yourself and you're practicing that self-love, self-care, other people know they're going to have to come in and match that. They're not going to come in and do the bare minimums because they know you're not going to put up with it. So the thief is coming out. So be careful because someone is definitely a little jealous. This is, I heard, thief of joy. This is somebody that's trying to, like, come in and rain on your parade because you got the sun here. So this is definitely someone who really was very manipulative. Like, you could be in a really good mood and then this person could call or this person will show up and it's just like the whole energy shifts. So if you're dealing with people like that, cut them off immediately because they bring nothing good. This is also someone who feels entitled, someone who's very calculating. This is like a slithering snake. This is like somebody who's very, like, cunning, very conniving, very manipulative, a trickster. And we got Rick James playing cold-blooded, so be careful. And I want to show you because you know I like to show and prove. So when these messages come out, you got you, you to gotta take heed. So somebody is very cold-blooded. So whoever this person is, it's like this, and, and it's uh, 1222, which reduces to 7. And 7, to me, I'm getting like 7 deadly sins. So this is like a devil energy. This is somebody jelly because you seem to be very emotionally fulfilled, very happy, you know, content with yourself. This could be someone that is also in the same field that could be, um, you know, someone jealous of the success that you're having, you know, because you are doing spiritual work, like whatever services you're providing, you could be getting a lot of, um, you know, clientele and somebody could be just literally spying, watching and jealous of the fact that you're lit. You know what I'm saying? It's a situation over there with you. But this is somebody, like, this could even be somebody trying to steal your ideas. This could be somebody trying to steal um, some of your information because the sun represents, you know, information, truth. So they could try to steal the way in which you do something because I kept hearing the word you're revolutionizing something. So that's why it's very important not to share what it is you do, not to share your ideas because somebody could steal it. This is somebody cold-blooded. So this is somebody that doesn't even have any type of conscious. They will just take because they feel it. And look at this, toil and labor. So this could be even your colleague, somebody that you could be considering a friend or somebody that you're working closely with. This could be even a, a, a business partner. But whatever it is, divine is showing like you have really worked hard. So be careful. You know, if you need to trademark um, any of your thing, your ideas, like if you need to trademark things, trademark it. Make sure you have your paperwork together because I feel like somebody is going to try to come in and slide in and steal something um, for work they didn't even do. Like they want to get credit for some ish they didn't even do clearly you've been toiling and laboring with this this is started from a thought you literally had a thought and you rich you really channeled that energy and mastered your craft and manifested something and so with this toil and labor it's like that's why you're being blissed with this because the divine has seen how hard you've been working you know so stay 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 
uh, diligent, but also be mindful um, not to share your information because there's some cold blooded individuals out here and whoever this is that's preying on your downfall is really jelly. They're jelly of the fact that you have moved on, that you're content, that you're successful, that you're emotionally fulfilled, you're happy, you're happy alone. Like some of y'all are just single. You haven't even got back into um, relationships with anyone because you've just been focusing on, you know, getting back to yourself, getting back to one, you know, that that's your priority. And so you're content by yourself. Whereas, you know, a narcissist always has to have, you know, like I said, supply. So they always got somebody in their face. They don't never take the time out to heal, which is why they don't know who they are. You know, narcissistic personality disorder is really somebody that doesn't know who they are. That's why they can't take accountability. That's why they lack empathy, because they they can't even figure out who they are. They don't know who they are because they don't take enough time to be honest with themselves. They just walk around wearing a mask. They just wear the mask because it's easier to do that opposed to, you know, making the necessary changes to be better. So why is this 88 abundance, 17 action, the four of wands and the world card here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? They have the message of love and light spirit. Why is this? Thank you, spirit. So this one flew up first. So we got main female. So feminines, this would be you. So you definitely are going to receive some sort of abundance, even if you're masculine, regardless, regardless of it showing main female, that would be you. So you're coming into this abundance. This is from the work that you've done. It's coming in quickly and shiftly. I heard that swiftly, excuse me. So 88 reduces to seven. I'm getting the chariot. So this abundance is coming in very quickly. And that's why this action is here as well. And I feel like this is a part of your karma because of the work you've put in. We just saw toil and labor. So this was no easy feat. This wasn't just easy. And when you reach the world card, which is the last, you know, card of the major arcana, that shows the blood, sweat and tears that you put into something, you know, into yourself first and foremost, because that's about self mastery. This world card speaks to you gaining that deeper, more profound understanding of yourself. That's how you learn that healing yourself leads to you loving yourself, which then leads to you knowing thyself. And when you know thyself, then you can start, you know, um, identifying what your love language is apart from what it may not be. And so we got unexpected income. See that you got blessings coming in, beloved. There's opportunities. You already have this 88 unexpected income. This is also someone who's going to have the Midas touch. This is also that person that is a go getter. That's determined. That's resourceful. That's practical. That goes out and makes it happen. You know, the spiritual partnership speaks to you and this person really, you know, um, forging a, 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 this powerhouse of a connection and the both of you together is going to mastermind some sort of spiritual uh, career or partnership that's going to lead to a lot of abundance. I'm hearing massive. I heard massive abundance. And we got Anita Baker, sweet love playing. See that? Wealthy man. Somebody's coming in. They got their ish together. So not only is this man holding a heart, but he's also wealthy. You know, and with that 13, this is that, you know, divine masculine. 13 reduces to four. That's the emperor. And remember, the empress was showing up. So you masculines, you know, this this is like showing how you've mastered yourselves as well. You were in a relationship, in a connection. That connection wasn't feeding nor nurturing you as well. You was dealing with somebody that was just, you know, feeling like you were supposed to be, you know, obligated to them. But they didn't have to have any obligation or respect towards you. You discovered some things that could have broken your heart. Even if this is your energies, ladies, or Scorpios, if this is your story, or if this is the story of the person that's coming in, whatever the case, somebody realizes how sweet love was with another person, whereas love with, you know, the karmic was very painful, you know, it was very, it was very emotionally taxing, it was very spiritually taxing, but someone took the necessary time out as the divine saw fit to start assessing their situations. Someone was dealing with addictions, afflictions, incubus, succubus energy, toxic energy. This 13 shows wealth. So someone has absolutely focused solely on their careers, focused solely on, you know, maybe on, on um, improving their finances after dealing with someone, a wife, an ex-wife, an ex-husband. They just started to throw themselves, thrust themselves into their work. 
and that's another reason why adventure is here because maybe somebody lacked adventure you know they they was just very complacent you know very routine just doing the same thing day in day out and now it's like they have that epiphany that aha to be fearless to go after what they want because they still have love and not only do they have love they have love for you they have sweet love for you, according to Nita Baker. And this is from the Rapture album. So this person was caught up in the Rapture, obviously, and the divine forced them to look at their situation and to be honest with themselves. And through that hermit mode period, through that moment of deep reflection, introspection, you know, eternal reflection, they were able to identify that they still were carrying a lot of love in their heart for their Scorpio, literally carrying it you know, holding on to this connection as well. And I feel like once they come down from this, you know, hangman position, they're going to come towards you because that 13, that four is also the four of wands that we saw. So this is someone wanting to rebuild, reconnect. This is somebody that realizes with you, the love was just, it was just easier. It wasn't as much work. You know, there was more in common. You both compliment each other. You stimulated them emotionally. You stimulated them. You you were attractive to them. Look at that. The love is on the bottom of the deck. I can't I can't make this up. This is what they feel. This is definitely a twin flame soulmate connection. This is a cosmic companion. There's no doubt about it. This is someone that you are meant to be with. This is that person here that you have that type of synergy and chemistry with. And this is why people are going to be talking because you've unburdened yourself. That ace of wands, that new beginning. Because you're unburdening yourself from all of this heaviness, this toxicity, all of this walking on eggshells, dealing with somebody playing mind games, word salad, playing. This is you taking your power back. This is also you walking into a connection that could lead to marriage. Because that hierophant speaks to a marriage. That's you and another person, like going to perhaps marriage counseling before even jumping the broom, you know, or just speaking to elders that are telling you to stay the path, stay the course, not get distracted. Whatever it is, you're in your power. You're in your power and you're not letting anybody come in and distract you. Because this lovers, this is written in the stone, stars. And we have um, Dion Ferris, and this is called Hopeless, you know. So for many of you, you know, I feel like these individuals are going to feel very hopeless after they see that whatever they it is that they're trying to do, whatever they're trying to concoct is going to be it's going to be worthless. It's going to be it's, there's no there's no um, it's not going to take effect, you know, because they're trying to block this. But there's no blocking what the divine has ordained. You know, we can see clearly this is like this was written. You know, these these are two stoned statues. So this was written in the stars universe so why is the 81 leadership the 50 strength angel of strength storm warning five of sticks and the five of wands here for the outcome for who's praying on our beloved scorpios so that five and five reduces to 10 look at that look what was in my hand four this is what you have that's why they hating they hating on the fact that not only did you move on but you moved on with somebody that is you know, not only wealthy, but they have a lot of love for you. They have a lot of respect for you. And the same thing for your person, like your person that's coming in, they're going to have a lot of naysayers as well, because whoever their karmic is, is spying on them. They're watching them because the word um, that song by slave watching you was playing. So they was being spied on their their privacy was being invaded. Like somebody is looking through their computers or reading their information, whatever it is. But I do feel here that this this energy here of courtship, that is someone that is going to show and prove, as I said, this is like your angels have aligned you with your cosmic companion. This is you and your person coming in. These individuals that are preying on your downfall are going to be hopeless. They're going to feel hopeless. They're going to feel depleted. That's why this anxiety card is here because they're going to be up in their head. They're going to be riddled with regret and remorse because they have to be stuck with the decisions that they made. You know, they're going to have to deal with their own karma. Whatever they tried to dish out to you, they're going to have to pay for it. And look what we have. We got the 38, which is 11. And remember, you had 11, um, you know, show up earlier. And that was the relationship change. So I feel like if you all are single, you're not going to be single for very long. You know, but this is also showing 
the the blood sweat and tears that you put into your growth that you put into whatever your vision is whatever the spiritual career that you are going to be doing it's like this is the hard labor that the divine has acknowledged this is the decision you could some of you all could have met this person this could have been a friend from work you could have met this person at an old job a current job maybe you met this person in your old um, neighborhood in your current neighborhood but I do feel like with this toil and labor it shows how much energy effort time you put into it you know and this is 11 11 right here because this 38 is um, yeah 11 11 is 4 and then this is 11 so this is just confirmation and we got the 15 lovers so your twin flame, that's why you got somebody praying and hating on your downfall. Because you're obviously coming into union with the yin to your yang, yin to your yin, a spiritual partner, a love connection. And then this false person, these haters, these people that was doing word salad, that was duping and lying and gaslighting and tricking folks. It's like the jig is up. This is why they're feeling hopeless because they feel seen. You're the empress. You can see through all of the illusions. Someone absolutely that was playing a lot of mind games, trying to manipulate the same person that's sitting here with all this anxiety is now realizing that you were true, that you was real. Remember, Spandu Ballot opened up the reading with true. You was a real one that got away. This 12 to 3, this is the Empress. Remember, we also have the Emperor. So this is your suit, the person you're coming into union with. This person likes what they see. This person is coming in after you. They're going through their own dark night of the soul journey. But this person that either you was attached to or the person you're attracting is attached to, they're realizing, you're, you've realized that y'all were both dealing with false people. This man, this masculine, if you're feminine, was wearing, you know, um, a mask as well, as well as the feminine. The feminine is hiding her mouth and the masculine is hiding his eyes. So someone couldn't see you feminines for who you truly were and for some of you um you know your person couldn't express the truth they spoke with a forked tongue as i said this is just you know fake this is snakes fugazis frenemies enemies but it's they're hating on the fact that you have obviously taken your power back you know your worth you know your value you know who you are you know what you bring to the table you also know that you're you're deserving of more and I feel like a lot of you walked away from, you know, connections that was not honoring you and the way that you felt you deserved to be honored. So let's get a little more messages to see who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. And then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, Shay, so let's see. So we have Blue Heron on the bottom of the deck, on the bottom of the deck. And it says the Most High is watching over you, protecting. Uh, it says protection, prosperity, self-determination, self-resilience, inner uh, peace and stability and psychic powers. So remember that high priest just showed up. The high priest is all about, you know, being tapped into that psychic ability, that that intuitive energy um, we have right now. Um, Idris Muhammad, Muhammad, and this is called peace of mind. So absolutely many of you um, are, you know, really enjoying the peace that you have because a lot of you were dealing with someone that was really trying to mind up you, that really had you confused. And no one can confuse you, you know, um, unless you allow them to, especially if you're dealing with someone that was like a narcissist. They're very good at manipulating. Um, but when you really start using discernment and you really start using your intuition, you'll start picking up on people's energy. And I feel like that's ultimately what you started to do, which is why you began to protect yourself. Um, you started to also protect your peace of mind. Um, you created a sacred space. So you moved away from that toxic environment and into a place where you can, you know, heal and nurture yourself. So let's clarify these messages. Let's get a couple messages for who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why. So divine spirit of love and light. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Why is the spiritual career? Why is the second chakra? Thank you, Spirit, the Sun, the Nine of Cups, and the Thief here. It says, have zero regrets. All the pain was worth it. See that? So this is like you can't regret anything you've been through. Everything you've been through is the reason why you are who you are today. 
without the experiences you would be ignorant you would be blind to the truths and to the facts so don't have any regrets for dealing with this this lying cheating thieving person this person that sucked you dry because guess what they're dealing with their karma you know and you've been able to learn you know a very valuable lesson dealing with this person and you're now able to see things much clearer you know you're able to see things clearer you're able to now enjoy the fruits of your labor and you're also going to um, remain successful because the seeds that you have been sowing have all been sown in good faith on the bottom of the deck look at that success so it's guaranteed you're going to have success, wish fulfillment, job opportunities. There's a lot of job offers, promotions for many of you all. Um, as I said earlier, I felt like if you all were applying for jobs and you couldn't um, land anything when you were in the relationship with that narcissist or that karmic ex, it's because they were blocking your blessings. I feel like now this success is coming in. It's pouring in. It's rushing in because first of all, you worked for it. It's, it's yours. You've earned it. But also because it's absolutely like your time. I feel like universe is moving you know the pieces to favor you you know everything's moving in your favor so why is this abundance 17 action the four of wands the world and the main female here so the world definitely indicates great lessons learned enormous change valuable lessons it says law of attraction manifesting your dreams that's powerful and that's absolutely what this is saying is wish fulfillment here manifesting your dreams becoming the alchemist utilizing your ability to manifest setting your intentions knowing that you are the sorcerers knowing that you are the alchemist the magis you're manifesting something into fruition so whatever those prayers and petitions that you were sending up an impertinence to love impertinence to your career your finances impertinence to your health and wellness it's like the divine is saying and so it is so mote it be so you're attracting now because you've changed your vibration. You've leveled up. That's about personal growth. Remember, remember, we saw that teaching and learning. The emperor showed up. The emperor showed up. So that is the epitome of self-mastery. When you reach that state of empress, emperor, that is the divinity of a masculine feminine energy so you could be very creative we got green ch catcher nightmares witching hours protection needed so there is someone who has a very hateful energy very very vile energy someone very um very uh manipulative uh someone very scorned i'm getting like a scorned ex or a scorned person um that's really uh trying to send their bad energy their bad juju uh to either your way or to this person you're attracting way cuz this is the masculine that you're attracting on the feminine that you're attracting that's in this um hermit mode energy uh so i do feel like you know whatever is happening to them it's because someone is very jaded um, and they feel, you know, very spiteful, whoever this is. Um, so they're very spiteful. Um, and it's because someone is moving on, choosing to separate themselves from that energy. So who is this energy? Um, why is this 27 spiritual partnership, 32 door to spirit, the page of cups, the hermit and the unexpected income here. And so we have pay attention to the signs. So that's what somebody took the time to do. They were starting to see things, little things, and that's why they took a moment to um, go within, you know, to kind of separate themselves from the energy, like they disconnected so that they could get a better assessment. And I feel like they learned something here. You know, they learned something about that, about whatever it was spirit was um, advising them about, you know, and I feel like somebody was also like affecting their finances, but maybe somebody is also getting some sort of epiphany or having some sort of download of how to um, improve their finances or how to grow their finances, what to invest their finances into. But there's many signs, synchronicities, divine downloads, interventions. This is also about releasing things that no longer serve your highest good. This is about meditating, contemplating. You know, he's in that meditative state and that's exactly what you know hermit mode is all about meditating to get things straight going within introspective reflective work so we have flighty ins and outs impulsive unreliable 
So someone was dealing with someone that was not committed. You know, this is a non-committal energy. Somebody committed to someone that was kind of flighty, you know, just all over the place, not really willing to, you know, invest wholeheartedly into a connection, giving of themselves, but getting nothing in return, feeling like they, you know, played themselves. Um, I do see here where somebody did reflect, you know, and this was a forced posi position because spirit was seeing how much they was doing and how little they were getting. So they had to show them some things. Maybe something came to light. You know, there was some sort of revelation and someone realized, look, I got to love me. I got to take care of me. Someone that loves you isn't going to keep you hanging on, isn't going to have you feeling confused. So why is this? Um, wow. Okay, we got a lot of cards and I'm gonna go with what's over here first. So we have warrior spirit. You've defied the odds. So someone definitely defied the odds in dealing with someone that was very malicious. You know, the ten of swords to the back. That's like, you know, the people closest to you um, that's stabbing you in the back because only somebody close to you would have that ability. You know, so someone felt deceived and betrayed by the people closest to them. Um, as I said, that could have been a husband or a wife because this does look like a church house. And this is where, you know, people usually get married. So I do feel like there was a marriage um, where there was a lot of lies and deception um, going on. Somebody felt deceived. Someone felt like they were um, in a one-sided connection. But I do feel like this is also where someone built up that strength, you know, became a warrior, you know, became someone who you know, persevered through difficult times, who was very resilient. And we have uh, Tears for Fears uh, playing right now. Everybody wants to rule the world. So this was someone tr very controlling, very manipulative, very calculating, very cunning, as I was saying. Someone was dealing with somebody that was a liar, somebody that was stalking their life, you know. They wouldn't give of themselves, but they expected the world. So Tears for Fears. So someone was fearing being alone, perhaps. Maybe because they were also codependent. And we got mistress is what they call me and I answer to it. No shame. This is on the bottom of the deck. So whether you're a feminine or masculine, mistress or Mr. Stress, someone found out their wife or their husband had a mistress or a Mr. Stress on the side. Somebody felt very de um, defeated by that knowledge, by that understanding, by that. Somebody could have turned to drinking and drugs after losing someone, you know. Someone became very depressed. Someone was a control freak. But they've defied the odds and they've been able to bounce back, you know, not only just financially, but also emotionally. And it's like now they are seeking adventure because this has been, you know, one hell of a bumpy ride for them. So it's like now with this 55, that complacency, you know, the boredom. Whatever it is that they're dealing with, it's like now they're seeking adventure. They're looking for a brand new start. There's two cards here speaking to brand new starts because you got the Ten of Swords and then you got the 55 Adventure. So now they want to be more spontaneous, more daring, more risky. They want to be fearless. You know, they want to take that leap of faith. They want to go out and, and, and see what's out there, you know, because they're still holding on to love, to this vision of love, you know, to this person of interest which would be you and with this warrior spirit i feel like they just you know they defied the odds because they're strong look at this earth angel it says you are my precious someone is coming towards you because they realize that you are their earth angel they love you this is somebody that realizes and someone they was dealing with was very controlling and that's what a narcissist does they try to control you um manipulate manipulating you and mind ucking you, you know, because control is how they get everything they want. So when they can control you, they can control the finances, they can control the tempo of the relationship, they can control everything. But someone realizes you're their earth angel. You are my precious. You are absolutely meant for this person. This person is definitely coming in. We have single black, white female, once your life, jealous, envious, sneaky hater. So someone is definitely aware that I feel this is like a karmic um, female that is 
very jealous of the fact that perhaps maybe I'm getting two scenarios. This could be the person you're attracting, your twin flame, their karmic that could have learned from you because remember they were stalking this person that you're attracting to you. So they're stalking them and they discover you. They discover how this person feels about you. So now they begin stalking you and watching you. This person is becoming obsessed watching whatever it is you're doing or trying to duplicate the way you do things. Remember, we also have, um, we had a card that was saying that somebody was kind of like um, cold blooded. So this was somebody almost trying to steal your ideas or steal something that you that you do very uniquely. This also could be an ex-partner, someone that they're dealing with now that has discovered that um, your karmic is now focusing their attention towards you again. So now this is someone who's kind of like becoming very um, angry at the fact that your ex is now refocusing their attention on you. Or this could just be that karmic that is just very jealous of the fact that you've moved on. You're very strong. You're very attractive. You know your worth and value now. You're standing in your power. You're master manifesting your life. You are attracting new love. You're in a new partnership clearly. And someone is jealous, envious, and very hateful. We have do something for yourself. Watch a sunset. Take a drive. That's what you're doing. You're in the mode of loving me, myself, and I. That's the mode. That's the focus. You're being true to you. You're discovering the things that make you feel happy, that brings joy and happiness into your life. Then you have this mistress that's also spying and stalking. We have um, baby face, and this is called soon as I get home. So I feel like somebody was dealing with someone who was in a relationship and I feel like this person was going through a lot of drama. As soon as they stepped foot in the door, there was arguments, there was fighting, there was questioning, interrogation. And I feel like this is somebody that's very possessive, very controlling, very out of control. And that's probably what's going to lead someone to making the decision that they need to part that relationship. They need to depart. They need to leave. They need to go their separate way because this person is becoming and growing very obsessed, very possessive and very much out of control. And I feel like this other um, aspect is that they're realizing that that's something that you've never done. You know, you've never been that, com you know, confrontational or you've never been that low vibrational where you're just constantly wanting to argue. You're constantly beating them down verbally. Someone was overwhelmed and stressed out dealing with that type of energy, but they are dealing with someone who is jealous of you, Scorpio. They're jealous of you because you are in a completely different vibration. Underneath that, it says mistress. So, and then we got Mama Oshun secret admirer someone's discovered that someone is is admiring you from a distance what did i just say this mistress whoever this mistress is whoever that third party because that's this is like almost like your karmic and their you know person that they're dealing with so whoever you parted ways with has discovered that the karmic your ex-karmic is somehow secretly admiring you from a distance you know still attracted to you attracted to your beauty and it says you are so worth it and they will prove it to you. So you have a true love coming in because they feel you're worth it. They feel you are worth the fight. They know that you're not going to dr cause drama and stress because you're an earth angel. So you really exude a lot of love and light. You really um, radiate you know, that confidence, that love, you're very nurturing, you're very maternal or paternal, you're very much a provider, a protector. I do feel like there is a karmic someone creeping in the background that's discovered you and they've become obsessed this could be somebody even trying to duplicate you you know because people will hate what they can't duplicate so that's why their anger their frustration is growing even more intense this is also the reason why you got a bunch of folks sitting around um gossiping and talking ish because I do feel like you may have a couple of flying monkeys around because your ex is hovering you. And so through them hovering you and them having a uh, eye spy on their trail, whether this is you or the person you're attracting, this is how someone has discovered 
you or discovered bumped into how somebody truly feels but this is just what i'm picking up i hope that all made sense um i thank you all for tuning and tapping in this is a deep dive because i really truly owed you all a nice long message um i'm gonna be um running into um not running into what am i talking about i'm gonna be um launching my etsy shop by the end of day uh so you all are more than welcome to go on to my etsy shop once um once um i upload uh it'll be later on so maybe not immediately after i upload the video maybe a late check it later on this evening um but i'm going to be taking some pictures and 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 posting some of my new items i've been really busy i've got a lot of stuff happening this is my daughter's solar return week i mean month um so i'm planning a solar return extravaganza for her um, I got a couple of surprises lined up. As you can see, I am feng shuiing my son's room, got new furniture coming in. So I've, I've just been doing a whole lot. That's why I haven't been so active. But I promise you, once all of those moving pieces are dealt with, I will definitely utilize more time um, developing, you know, more readings and as well as doing my meditation channel. Um, I should be um, getting a new computer soon so that I can really amp up uh you know the editing and the videography of the channel you know just make it more um more than what it is but i thank you all so much for tuning and tapping in if you found that the messages resonate please 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 hit the like button that is a way that my um video can um get into the algorithm and more people can discover the channel and not only discover the channel but also receive the messages. So please hit the like button. I utilize a lot of energy and time uh, creating these readings. Um, I don't ask for money. I don't send you anywhere else to get extended versions. Um, I just give you deep dives and the way that you can show that love and rotate that love is just by quickly, you know, simply clicking on the like button. Um, but I do appreciate you all so much for tuning and tapping in. I send you infinite love and light. Thank you so much again. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.